No experts, no insiders, just fans. Transmission for Mark Up Wrestling Podcast begins in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Begin broadcast. All right. There we go. There we go. I think we're running. Yeah, maybe. We might be. I don't know. We'll find out in a minute. Let's see. Nobody shut us down yet? No, we're still on. Hey, there we go. Marked Out Wrestling Podcast here. We're going to do our live reaction to uh, Clash of Champions. Well, this is this is your show, but hopefully... Yeah, why are you introing it? I'm just it's, talking. It's a bro. SmackDown one. I'm just so talking, that, bro. That means this is a uh, SmackDown live reaction okay uh it's adam bomb jew that leads the crew here we got a hey, juan's already here how about that shit hey juan welcome hi juan so they're gonna kick off with uh bobby dolph is and that, baron is that first u.s yeah. they showed him getting ready on the pre-show all right i uh i don't know if we're on twitch or not we might be. oh no yeah because juan's on twitch youtube uh, appears to be streaming so we're on youtube the, MO, the mowp page so this one's uh this is all YouTube exclusive. We're not gonna put none of this shit on the podcast. I think the but. only swerve that's gonna happen tonight could be uh Carmella or could be um the uh whole double referee double pin thing that I, I think is gonna happen. Yeah. Probably. No, it's it's the only reason for that match. Juan says hello, Roberto. Hello, Juan. So are we gonna see a bunch of uh coming out of here? Since you're the raw some guy and raw, uh, we're gonna see a lot of the rumble qualifiers after tonight. Rumble? What do you mean by rumble qualifiers? Like, what's uh, up, Justin? You and I fight for a spot in the rumble. Oh, is that the new the direction after this? Or are they setting it up tonight? I'm I'm wondering if the, I'm saying after tonight, do they start to do yeah. those weird qualifying matches? You know the oh yeah after probable battle royal for number thirty or something like that. Oh yeah, after tonight, any it, yeah anything goes right for Royal Rumble. I mean, obviously you're gonna have qualifier matches. You're gonna have the screw over of the number. You're gonna have uh, it, it's gonna be all the, all, the, all the same tricks you see every year. You know for Rumble, which is fine because it's what we like about it. Stike Leathers here. What's up, Daddy? But it'll be interesting to see because you're going to have the women's rumble and the men's. That doesn't leave a whole lot of time for other matches. So it'll be interesting to see when we come out of this pay per view who actually gets those bookings. Yeah. What are you doing over there? Huh? Nothing. I'm just doing shit. I don't think we're recording, by the way, over here. We're, we're not, not supposed we're, to. We're not recording. It's fine. As long as everybody can hear us. That's all that matters right now. I don't think anybody's on fucking YouTube. Everybody's on Twitch now. Yeah. Wow. Hey, maybe Medine's actually here. He just doesn't know how to come no, in. No, the no, no, don't come in here. It's very, it's very cute. Very cute. Yeah. Hilarious. Yeah. So if you haven't been here for our live reaction uh, when we do it during the show, uh, there may be periods of silence and whatever. We're not going to analyze the whole time. We're just going to – you guys just join us while we watch. Is this us inviting friends into our uh, watching Yeah, Justin uh, said something on here. He said, yeah, after tonight, it's game on for Rumble. Uh, booking shenanigans. It's it, I The one thing that I really want to have happen from Raw – I hope they do a, a one match for all the gold for the tag and the U.S. belt with Shield and Joe and Barr. What? I wasn't listening. You've heard me say it before, though. Shield versus Joe and the Bar for all the gold at Rumble. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I think it, it makes sense to me. Glorious. And I will pretend. I will pretend. Glorious. No, I won't, I won't give in. I won't give in till I'm victorious. <sighs> Dude, uh, took the kids to see Bobby one time, uh, or to see you know wrestling, and Bobby was there. That's when he went to NXT, and, and the whole fucking time, like. 
my kids were just like, they did not want to be there. But the minute Bobby's music hits, they were fucking... Hey, Medina, sit over here for the reaction. Please. What do you got there? Is that a... Uh, anyway, they were going crazy for it. That's silver. Are you, are you guys doing... Uh, are you guys going to be okay sitting on the same side of the table? What are you talking about? Uh, no, uh, Panthers beat Green Bay. I just want to make oh. sure. It's the game, yo. I had a fucking great ass seat. Yeah? Somebody, yeah, this dude uh, that I know gifted my buddy his seats. I was fucking eight rows in the end zone. In the corner. Yeah, Stike, I think they're going to do a 20 oh, oh, um, oh, that's right. women's rumble, that's and right. they'll do it in we're a half on. hour or something huh? like that. I forgot we were on. Like, we're on, <laughs> on. Yeah, we're on. We're just being normal, though. <laughs> All right. Maybe Medine's here. You don't need headphones. Okay. Um, good. And good. Like, not like you know how to talk into a mic. My, 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 uh, <laughs> maybe you can help me today. Well, I got a sore throat anyway. I'm fucking coming down with something. But yeah, now I'm good. It was a That was a tough game. Oh, wait. He I turned the it. music off again. Oh. I wish they'd make up their minds. Yeah, what, seriously. What they, what it's what like they Brothers do. Clay. What you want to do? What are you doing? I'm so over him. I, I swear I, I, I swear. I think after this or after Rumble, I think after Rumble, Dolph either walks or he gets released. He I, just I, resigned. Exactly, Rob. Did he really? Yeah, he yeah. just resigned. And then afterwards, he talks about, like, he was on somebody's podcast not too long after that saying, you know, maybe I should leave after this contract. And, I mean, if you're already contemplating leaving after the next contract, why didn't you just leave when you just signed this one a month ago. Money, 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 yeah, money. A month ago exactly, he resigned. Exactly, Rob. Money. So he had the opportunity. He, got a good ch he must have got a good chunk of cash to stick w around. Juan's a fucking Patriots fan. Come the fuck. Yo, you did suck you, at Did you see the end of that you game? You suck at everything, Juan. This, this controversy Juan, you can call in if you want, if there's a mark. Steelers score the touchdown. It. The refs overturn it, say he didn't catch oh, I it. I heard that, yeah. yeah the and Steelers then the very Patriots. next play, they get intercepted. Game over. Patriots win. Wow, this is the, if I was a Steelers fan, I'd be livid today. So the uh, the re the 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 refs had deflated balls, pretty much. Heyo, heyo. Are we fighting now? Are we waiting? We're waiting for. Uh, oh yeah, where's that? He's here, not even here he fucking comes. here yet. What is nice this? of you to show up, Corbin. Oh, look, Corbin. a couple people are clapping. What is this fake ass Enigma shit music? He's, He's kind of come out to the Benedine monks. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. I like baloney. He's he so lame. Burn, Carver. Spike Witty, did you hear about uh, Kiera? I saw she. I was watching the video just now until the the small one took the phone and ran. <laughs> <laughs> a small one. Yeah, demon. guys. Go on. Uh, go on Twitter. She kicked, oh, she proceeded to kick me beforehand as oh, well. Yeah. She does that. Go. Yeah. Go to Twitter and uh, at Smart Mark Show is our name. Is our, our handle there, and uh, you can see a video of Kiara's first match. She didn't know. She showed up to help at the event just to help set up the ring. Uh, you know, sell tickets, merch. You know, break down. Just root, root the other the talent on. Being a good team player, and uh, just out of nowhere they went. Kara, here's some gear. You're you're playing. You're, you're you got a tag match tonight. She had no idea, and and I hate I wasn't there to support her on it. But I mean, well, and the other good thing that happened to the Mark Todd Universe on Friday is uh, Brian came through uh, his surgery. Yeah, sure did. And yeah. uh, he's gonna start rehab. So so we wish you well, Brian, on your path. I wonder if he's watching us right now. I wonder. He was talking to us before we went on air. Yeah. But he did say he got to take his time for his pain pill, his pain medication. So he probably yeah, he's uh, probably on the old page watching the wrong episode. Right. Why? Why, why can't I chat? <laughs> I, I still say, Medin, uh, Baron's going to steal the pin somehow. If you uh, prefer, um, guys, if you prefer, there's the play, Rob. If you want to watch it right here. Okay. So the, yeah, this is where he scores. They say he didn't have possession somehow. That looks like possession to me. But that right there, that why? Yeah. That little twist of the hand. Caused him to all of a sudden not have possession. Well, that's, that's his terrible. fault. It is. It's, but it's terrible. obvious that he caught it. It's terrible. I know. Yeah. Just another pa another Patriot. One of those other, like the the uh, the tuck rule type of deal. Yeah. This will always be I one of those. I thought it was like deals. the Des Bryant rule. I like the 
I like the no, little- no, no. I was saying the Patriots are always involved in some type of game where something controversial happens. Why? Why are they treating Baron like a monster and having having Dolphin uh, Rude do the team up thing on him? Yeah. I- Good- Goodell's like Vince. He called into the ref's earpiece. Absolutely. Are you guys still on football right now? Yes. I'm watching the match. I, I think they're just taking him out because he can't wrestle, Rob. I'm going to go with uh, I'm going with Bobby Roode as the winner here. I think Barron's going to steal the pin. Yeah, Juan says Barron wins. Of course, Juan's wrong about everything in life, so Juan e- especially Trump. eating and cholesterol. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I'm with you, Stike. But I think that's going to happen on the pre-show. Bobby's going to beat Baron straight up at Rumble. Baron wins tonight. You don't think Bobby? You think Bobby's going to be in the Rumble? Me. I, I think he's a dark horse to win all, it. All the time they have guys like US and IC level guys do double duty at the Rumble, so he could do both very easily. Yeah. Don't pull his hair. He's got, he doesn't have that much left. Justin saying most fans don't realize there's no DQ here. What I hate is when there's a triple threat and the ref starts counting to ten, like he doesn't realize it. Yeah, like there's no count on either ref. Are are the the rape uh, rape damn rape, the, wow. the the rope break where it's like it it he didn't have to break on the ropes. It's a no DQ. Right. Seriously, they that's that is one of the bigger problems with WWE. They don't stick to the rules like consistently. They think most of their fans are too stupid to even remember that they did this gimmick a month ago or something. I'm not like most fans. Da, 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 da. What's he saying? Ma- is he doing Metallica? Master. Master. Master of puppets pulling a string. Pulling his string hair. He's pretty wet. Obey your wet hair. Wet hair. Damn, Bobby can sell. That's, That's what I was observing, the, uh, Rob. Pedigree Pass. of AJ and Bobby Roode. I know they're both like late 30s. You know, Bobby's what, just turned 40? Yeah. But their pedigree of selling is is what's made them great. Yeah, they can do offensive moves, and they're good like that, but. You don't need to. If you, I mean, if you can sell your ass, you don't need to be an offensive juggernaut because you can make every match look good. Shawn Michaels. Yeah, he spent most of his matches getting his ass kicked. That's where the story is—the cell. Yeah. Look at that. That was not a great punch, but Bobby made it look like it was a knockout. Right. Oh, oh yeah. Ziggler's it's also in the match. based on the fact that they're building Baron to be the monster in this match, so at least they're staying consistent with that. Are they in Boston tonight. Yeah. Bean Town. The Hard Rock Cafe in Boston has a little portion that is dedicated to Aerosmith that they call the Aerosmithsonian. Wow. little fun fact there for you. Da-da-da-da, the more you know. <laughs> oh, I was trying to say earlier, if if YouTube is, guys, if YouTube is more your thing, you are welcome to go to the YouTube pages, M O W P, the channel uh, channel name, and the name of the stream right now is WWE Clash of Champions Reaction 2017. So uh, if you, if you want to, you sound like a uh, talk radio I'm Delilah just, type of host I'm just for that ta- one. I'm just talking. <laughs> talk. <laughs> but, I mean, what do you want to sound like, monster truck car guy? He's Sunday, like, Sunday, 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 Sunday. WP on YouTube Live uh, this Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. Be there. Yeah, yeah. Look, he's like Bobby at forty is like. 3.5 times faster than fucking Dean Ambrose. Oh, shut it. Dean's what, early 30s? Like 31 or 32, yeah. Yeah, no excuse. I was No, I was just trying to figure out the age difference. There was no excuse. And, and Rude actually you looks like he cares about man? his physique. What? The cameraman right there. Baron's just staring at the referee because of the angle that they put out there. You know, did you know that that's that's a requirement, right? 
I didn't know that till recently. Somebody told me that uh, somebody at NXT told me that um, when the refs count, you have to you have to watch them. You, you're not you're not allowed to close your eyes. You got well, you need to look at them. Well, I know, but the cameraman doesn't have to be there. No, on that no, side. I agree with you. I'm just talking about I'm, fun fact, man. I'm not <laughs> shocked that they have to watch the ref. That makes sense. I'm saying the cameraman doesn't need All to right, show. I'm just them saying fun fact, bro. I wouldn't argue. Ar- it's not fun anymore. I wouldn't argue with this you. guy. What? Oh. This, thanks to this guy, it's not fun anymore. No, I know. It was, a, it was a fun fact. What the fuck? Yeah, now it's just a sorry fact. <laughs> so, sorry. That was, a, that, sorry. Well, that was not a touchdown either. No. Oh, the, the two butts. The one up. in the back and the yeah, nah. They said, they that, said was, it, that was not a touchdown. His ass cheek was too, equivalent to two feet. <laughs> you got a foot in your ass. Uh-oh. That was the killer out. at the end. Is belly it? button's oh, out. Oh, it's like a mouth. It's like a weird vagina on his stomach. It's like a jack-o'-lantern. Sideways. Oh, our network froze. Here we go. Yeah, somebody yelled that. That's why they just blurred out the sound. You have fucking fat ass. Oh, my! taste my elbow. Taste oh. my feet. Oh. oh. Got some height on that. Fucking Bobby, man. He's so good. Oh, got the shoulder out. He's so good. But again, the camera's right on his eyes. Bobby might be the best seller on the fucking roster. Except for AJ. Mm, yeah. Well, Dude, AJ makes a, a it's kick a, it's a, like a, a suplex. It's a good debate. It is. Yeah. I, I can't wait to see them work together. They definitely fought at points in TNA, but oh yeah, what are they chanting? Bobby Roode. Bobby Roode. Bobby Roode. Over. Somebody's over. They appreciate that selling ability, bro. Hey, it's how you tell the story in the ring. You're always talking about that, Rob. You need to tell a story in a match. Yeah. Well, when you can sell, you can tell a story. Selling is your script. Right. Yeah. His comeback. Here's the comeback. Here comes Dolph. Give us a little shine. Oh, no. The cutoff with a comeback. I'm learning all these wrestling terms from Kiara. <laughs> Whatever you say, Mr. Collinsworth. <laughs> Here comes that, no, Corbin. Don't ever compare me to Chris Collinsworth. I like that spot, but I remember when it was rare. Yeah. Every triple threat has it now. I want to give Baron a compliment there. I, I noticed something I didn't notice before. Uh, when Baron was doing the powerbomb there, it was they were kind of off kilt, like they were going a little further than he wanted to, and Dolph was obviously going to fall with a bad bump, and fucking uh, Corbin pulled Dolph in and dropped him low so he, so he could get the bump right. So Baron just protected the shit out of Dolph on that move. Unlike uh, when Roman Reigns is the bottom, he does nothing but stand there. Yeah. yeah Baron, I, I don't compliment Baron often, but he protected Dolph on that one. Yeah, they showed it in the, in the replay. You were right. Yeah. They slow-moed it, and I saw him turn him. Because Bobby, Bobby was good no matter what. You know, Bobby, Bobby's doing a flip. That's all he's of course. doing. Bobby's worried about himself in the air. Yeah. He's got to turn himself. Board's quiet. So we didn't stream for Mojo and uh, Zach, but it was a good match. Yeah, it was a good match. Man. Yeah. What's that? Mojo, Mojo versus and Zach. Zach Ryder. Oh, yeah? Yeah, it, it, was, it was a good match. I was impressed. The winner was? Mojo. 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 Yeah. But it, it was a good 15-minute match. Yeah. yeah, they gave him some time. They, 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 it was good. They had the unnecessary commercial in their pre-show that they're streaming. Oh, fucking spine buster a la... Uh, the enforcer. Yeah. Double A. He's over. Fuck, he's over. Oh, see, I I keep waiting for him to hit it, it's and zone. then Baron steal the pin. He's kicking out here. Barely. Oh man, barely kicking out. Fucking Juan. Baron, let's go, Baron, let's go. It's let's go, Baron, let's go, Baron. Get your shit right. Fucking Guatemalan. Yeah, ESL. 
if English is your second language, it's they always fuck shit like that up. Yeah, apparently, we found out that, that Juan is not Mexican. He's Guatemalan. Yeah. Uh-oh. He's as Mexican as Medina's. No. <laughs> he's more. Yeah, he's more. He's yeah. more. Yeah. There you go. You're separated. Yeah. You I'm got the, water I'm, I'm in the water, Holmes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in the water, Holmes. <laughs> shit, man. But at least not be fucking died. But, yeah, but not in the bad water. Yeah. Oh, bad water. I hate that move when they stop to jump. I wish it would be more fluid. Arn used to do it great. Yes. Yes. Really? No way. No, no too close to the ropes. The pin, Here we see? go. Yeah. Let's go. Oh, oh, fuck oh, no. you, buddy. Get the pin. Get the pin. Get it, get it, get it, no, get it. Get pulls out. Pull, gets One. pulled out. Oh. Yeah, it was obvious, but fuck. Damn it. Do you even have the picks? I don't even know who I picked anymore. Come on. They should be somewhere around here. I might have thrown them away. And... I know. Terrible. Why don't you put them somewhere like, that doesn't look like this trash on the table? Well, that was Brian's thing. He always would put it on the board. That was one of the useful things Brian would do. Why don't you? Oh, my. That's How hard is that to do? Apparently pretty hard. <laughs> he said deal. Oh shit. That was dope. No. Dolph won. Dolph won. Fuck. Wow. Wow. I definitely didn't see that coming. I didn't see that either, but that's dope. You know what? Uh Dolph wins the belt. Bobby gets over. Bob this is Bobby's match. Dolph that's wins true. this is Bobby's match. That's true. Yeah, people will remember Bobby for the match. Yeah. It's a good match. It was, was a good match. two for two. Especially at the end. And Baron didn't get exposed. And I, and I was... Uh, I thought they made all three guys look good. I mean, I wasn't excited for this pay-per-view at all, but two for two. Uh, but don't you agree they made all three guys look good? Oh, yeah. No, Baron looked... I thought even Baron looked good here. Yeah. I mean, honestly, real, seriously. Everyone was selling great. Everybody's protecting each other. Um, good story being told. Offense was, was strong. I, I mean, it was just an overall really good match. You know, everybody had some moment to shine. Everybody had to come back. Everybody had to cut off. Everybody had to shine. Uh, so that that was timed very well. Oh, so good. It was so good. Good ending. Yeah. Well done, WWE. Two for two. You're right, Rob. Two for two. Two for two. Good match. Okay. Uh, Justin said, wow, Dolph, new U.S. champ. Who saw that coming? I didn't see that coming. Obviously, I didn't. I thought he was fucking, I thought he was destined for the road. You know? Nope. And Juan thinks Ziggler's with an S. Well, Juan gets everything wrong. Ziggler? No, he's got, oh, he's hungry. He's got Sizzler on his mind. Or is he thinking of Jamie (laughs) Jamie Lee Ziggler? Jamie Lee Ziggler. It's like a Freudian slip from his belly. Yeah. Sizzler. I want Sizzler. Do they even have Sizzler in L.A.? I don't know. They I mean, have they, they probably, they probably had one, and he uh, he ate them out. Yeah, uh, that sounds horrible. He he yeah. ate them out of stock. I, 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 yeah, yeah gotcha. products. <laughs> um, do they even have Sizzler anymore? Period. I don't know. Is there a Sizzler? If there is, sponsor us. <laughs> uh, Juan says yes. Look, he knows. No hesitation. Sizzler? Yeah. I yeah. know that. Oh, yeah. yeah, you gotta believe yeah. him too, because he's fat. Yeah, he's huge. So he knows oh. exactly. He knows every he place. The food he knows. He's so big that every place he goes, they give him a, a number to call for the next time, so they can prepare for him. Right. Yeah. We gotta roast. I'm gonna be there at eight o'clock. I like a booth, please. They, they they see him park his car and they turn off the chocolate fountain and say, "Sorry, out of right. order." Sir, can you call? Can you call us uh, before we do our truck order, uh-huh. so we know if you're coming in? <laughs> I'm gonna be there in in a, in a week. So make sure you order enough potatoes. You do a good fat guy impersonation, but it's hard to do one Mexican. I put. I. <laughs> um. I was thinking I can't do it. Let's see. Okay, man. Um. Everybody at the hotel. No, I was just trying. I was trying to get that first. Okay, man. I want to go to the bodega. Okay. Okay. Okay, man. I want to go to the bodega. No, nah, you still just sound no. fat. No, it sounds. I can't do it. It's tough. It's hard. Yeah.
You're welcome. You're welcome. Yes. You're welcome. Thank you for the recap. Why is he breathing so weird tonight? I don't know. You get a line? <laughs> a huge line. Uh huh. Oh, Teddy Hart. I got to allow Teddy Hart's comment. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Hi, Teddy. <laughs> it was like prompting me. Please approve this comment. What's up, motherfuckers? Never fear the stoner will appear. Wait, Stike Leather, your daughter's name is Amy? I thought it was Ashley. No, it's not. Oh, yeah, he said Ashley. He changed his name to Amy? Well, that's a horrible name. <laughs> Excuse me, Baron. Look at that hair. <laughs> Justin said the same thing we did. Thanks for the recap, Shane. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know what? Baron just got himself a job post-wrestling. He's going to be a dumpster man. There you go. I wish they'd just let him say fucking title. It's so dumb, their championship. Who's this? Rusev Day. I didn't know there was a Rusev match. Yeah, he's part of the four-way with the tag champ. Oh, okay. I'm trying to put on my graphic, and I'm like, current match. Who's that? Okay. Tag match. This should be, I bet this will be interesting. I, I, will it be a clusterfuck or a good match? I said this was going to be the match of the night. I mean, everybody in a match can go. Even Aiden English. He can go. Oh, he can go. What's up, Teddy? Rusev Kaka. Kaka. Rusev Kaka. Dun, 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 Juan, dun, dun. Juan says Rusev wins because they're both fat. Uh, yeah, where is Noah? I haven't Perfect seen... 11's here. I didn't see that. What's up, 11? We haven't seen Noah in a hot minute, have we? No. Been two, three weeks? If Noah gets a girlfriend, I bet we never see him again. Right. It's been a little... It's been a little ill today. I meant Ashley. Ashley, see? Yeah, yeah. Oh, he's been, <laughs> Stike Leather's been ill. Oh, damn it, Stike Leather got his own daughter's name wrong. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> fuck the birthdays, right? Get yeah, the names right. Right. The fuck, bro? Uh, <laughs> I bet Car is Carmen. I thought we in? were taking, I'm like, wait, I thought her name was Ashley. You know, like. <laughs> well, shit, I just sent a card. Damn fuck. it. Wait, wait, pillow wait. embroidered and shit. We said welcome to the world, Ashley, like six times the other night. Fuck us. This is another one of those, Rob. <laughs> one of those like weird things that got over. Yeah. Rusev Day. Yeah. And so in that spirit, I will finish the song we started a couple weeks ago. <laughs> it sounds like, like Kermit the Frog. We started it a couple weeks ago. Do -do -do. Oh, Kermit. Hi ho. Aiden English here. Lana's leaving. Wow. <laughs> you know, his face right there looked like Bluto. Yeah. Senator Blutarski. I love this. This is great. 
Matka Keks. Yeah. Well done, Aiden. Yes. That was great. That was great. That was very, very good. I'm loving these two. Hulk out. There you go. Crowd getting mine. <laughs> Benjamin and Fable. Uh, Amer uh, American Beta? Is that what you American called them? I just call him Ben Gable. No, Ben Gable is what I call him. Who was the one that came up with American ben Beta? Gable. I thought it was you. Ben Gay. They, ben Did Gay. I come up that's with American what, that, Beta? That's why. Yeah. Ben Gable. Or was that yeah. Brian? What? No, maybe Brian. Steve-O. What? American Beta. It was steve -O. It was you. Nah, it was, was either me. you or Steve-O. Yeah, you did that. Oh. Nah, you know what? Nah, 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 nah. It was definitely not him. <laughs> I don't know. I heard it first. first I heard it. I think, I, I think Steve did it. There's, uh, there's no way Adam came up with a good name on his own. Teddy yeah. Hart says uh, he's all set for Christmas. He just ordered a shit ton of mistletoe. <laughs> Uh, Perfect Eleven, fuck. Yeah, Perfect Eleven says fuck. That first match was great, and Rusev super over. Yeah, they are. Oh. Justin says this could be one of those matches where everything goes to hell. Don't forget, all four men are legal. This is a true fatal four way, and they have to tag their partners. So it's not like it's not tornado tag chaos, but it's also not. Four corners. This is gonna be whack. I don't care that you're dancing. Rusev Day. Oh, did you drive? No. You didn't? Uh-uh. For real? Yeah. Did you see my car out there? I didn't drive. I didn't drive either. <laughs> That's okay. I bet you we can get Rob to turn his Lyft app on and take us. <laughs> oh, I hope so. <laughs> so whose car is the red one? There's a red car out there? It's reddish. I just took a glance and I was like, just kind of was like, oh, had a pair through the driveway, but I was really paying no, attention they, that hard to it. Black car and white van. Oh, that's a black car? The Civic looking? Yeah. Oh, it looked red to me. Both said fuck it, and we turn all the lights out. And I came out here, and Kara went upstairs, like, bye. Have fun all night. She go upstairs? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Xavier's handing out pancakes. <laughs> really? Yeah. That's great. I like pancakes. Juan loves pancakes. 
Excuse me, sir. Next time you come back to the IHOP, please uh, make sure you uh, phone ahead. Thank you. Excuse me. Excuse me. Can I have some syrup? I want some buttermilk pancakes. Butter. Buttermilk. Can you add a lot of more butter? Oh, I forgot. It's going to be three in a ring at a time. Four. Mm. But yeah, this is great. Yeah, it's a fatal four-way tag match instead of a four corners tag match. But is there no DQ because... If, can you only tag your partner? Yeah, you can only tag your partner. But there, if there's no DQ, how can they keep them on the other side of the ropes? Uh, right. None of this makes sense. Then why do they need to be on the outside of the ropes if it's no disqualification? This is stupid. Why isn't, oh, why isn't Xavier fighting? Turning into a spot fest. Why isn't Xavier fighting with him? Oh, Jesus. Stike's asking us, what do you think about uh, Vince wanting to restart XFL? I don't know if you heard about that in the news I today. I saw. It was, it's like official? It's official that he wa he announced he wants to. <laughs> it's not official that they're kicking off tomorrow. Well. Good, yeah. No, I'm I'm excited about it. Go do XFL and let Hunter run WWE. There you go. Yeah. Yep. Take Kevin Dunn with you. Mm-hmm. So you can do TV for you. Let Hunter have his own team. Yeah. Leave Regal in charge of NXT. Yeah. Yep. Ooh, or better yet, let HBK take over. I was about to say Sean. Let him take over there. You think Sean wants that, though? Uh, I don't think he does. I don't think Sean likes that level of responsibility. From, a, from what standpoint? If he has to go out and find talent and do contracts and all that, probably doesn't. If he has to book the matches and the rivalries, probably does. He just doesn't have to be creative, like in charge creatively. I mean, what, he could be what, like the super agent. What Hunter does for NXT is everything. Right. I'm saying have him and Regal kind of split it. Regal work creative side. Sean be the booker. I think Sean just wants to help out. I'll train somebody here and there. I don't. I don't think he wants to get involved in any of that. Maybe he just okay. Then maybe maybe he he, just he could probably he could probably book like live live shows, house shows, and. And you know, little armories and shit are you know, the just are, run the card. Are the loops they do? But yeah, just him can actually running the the, well, the TV program. I, no. He works in the PC. Does he? Is he the agent on any matches? No. I, mm, I don't know if he goes out on the live shows with uh I'm as, saying as even a producer. On, like, takeover. I would imagine he's at least an agent on a match. He might be. Why not? That doesn't. I mean that's a match. That's not a huge commitment. Yeah. Anybody can No, no, I match. actually know he he is. He does go to live shows and stuff and <coughs> so he, uh, yeah, I'm sure he works some uh, producer and agent one of the two, but I don't think they have agents at that level though, honestly. At the lower levels? I'm talking for a takeover. Oh, takeover. Maybe. But that's no, a whole it, different it, thing than being in charge. Yeah, I know, but I'm saying I bet you he just to get his if if he was doing that and that's all he wanted to do. He had no desire to do anything else. Then yeah. you know, Joker's here. What's up, Joker? Is he on break? I don't know. Is this match going on? Is it, I haven't been watching. Stike Leather says Sean has to finish his ab off with Johnny Wrestling. Oh my God. Who said that? Stike. Stike. He's delirious. He didn't have much sleep. Yeah, it makes no fucking sense. Unique my ass. This is weird. It's a four way with partners and no rules, but they can't come in the ring. They have to tag. Yeah. 
It's like, that, there's no rules, but there's one rule. Yeah. So if you don't tag, do you get disqualified? No, because there's no disqualification. Yeah. Uh, they can't eliminate him. And also, what if they did, Rob, disqualify, like, let's say, Rusev in English? Who wins? Like, n- nobody wins. Then you're in an elimination territory. And there, this is an elimination. I wish it was. How short this card is, I wish it was elimination. It would make a lot more sense. This is dumb. Uh, agreed. Oh, don't forget we got uh, Bludgeon Brothers and Brizongo. I haven't forgotten, unfortunately. We could have thrown them into this mix. And we got a great Lumberjill match. Yeah, Justin's echoing my, what I just said. Unique my ass. No. Yeah. Keep trying to sell this match. I like Justin. I think Justin only has been with us on Twitch. I don't know if he was anyone on uh, the YouTube. YouTube channel. The YouTube. You know, like a lot of them had to change their names. Mm-hmm. <laughs> the good thing is, is Teddy's riding out uh, hashtag Adam for Mondays on his 90 days on YouTube by being on Twitch. Mm. Worked out well for you, Teddy. Mm. Yeah, no shit, right? Yeah. But every other channel he goes to now, you're on it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you see how I, I kind of tricked Teddy into promoting our shows. Anybody asks, why does it say hashtag Adam for Mondays? He goes, oh, that's the Marked Out Wrestling podcast I listened to. Yeah, we implied that a minute ago. Yeah. I hate you. No, you know. I'm trying to get rid of this icing out. Ow. Fat boy stuff. Oh, damn. Benjamin just kicked Uso one. <laughs> what did you just say? Are you done eating your, like, My cake f- frosting? Yeah, I was eating cake frosting. What the hell was that? It's uh, the the frosting that you use for uh, gingerbread houses that makes it stick together. <laughs> you really were eating cake frosting. Yeah. I can hear you getting fatter as you insult <laughs> Juan. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> my my cells are multiplying as we sit here. I'm gonna, we're going to talk about uh, Baron Corbin. Blah. Anybody got a, got a cannoli? Stike says Usos are going to retain and then face the Bludgeon Brothers at Rumble or Mania. I don't know. It's going to be tough for them not to have Bludgeon Brothers at Rumble the way they're building them. The Brothers of Blubber. They can't let them run through the whole division by Mania. Blubber Brothers. We got hammers. I hate when they push a new team, they end up killing the division to push them. Yeah, we got hammers. Oh, 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 and, uh, yeah. Oh. And, uh. Let's go. If you want it, you can get Who's so crazy? And double kick out. That's a little tease for later on tonight when there's a double pin in the KO shenanigan match. No more jaw jacking. You too. You too. Rusev Day. Where has Rusev been? He's doing heroin somewhere? Oh, wow. Wow. Cloverleaf. Hey, good call, Medin. You got it before Corey. I love it. He's he's keeping everybody out of the ring. This is probably the first good part about the match. This little angle. Although I don't know why he turned with his leg hanging by the rope. That seemed kind of foolish. Uh oh. 
Oh, oh. Oh, to come all our, on. To all our Jews out there, happy Hanukkah. Final you, night will be you, on Tuesday, Smart. Hey, we got NASCAR fan on uh, the YouTube live chat board. We got somebody there. Hey, NASCAR fan. How are you doing, NASCAR fan? We're from, we're from Charlotte, North Carolina, the home of NASCAR. Yeah, I wonder if he's a uh, charlatier. Uh, charlatan. Sure. Charlatier made it sound like a bad cheerleading squad. Stupid. Dude, did you hear the fans pop when Aiden almost won, and now they're popping for Rusev in this? They were pop, yeah. They are over. Will the midget tap out? Oh, Biggie. Big ending. Oh, here comes Kofi. Come on, truck. Good recovery there. Yeah, good. Wow, good sell. That's it. Oh, oh, I thought Come that was on. it. False finish after false finish now here. Rusev's much better when the crowd's behind him. Yeah. I'm liking him he, as a bit of a face here. Yeah, he's he, you can tell he can feel the energy of the room. He's better. He hulks up, if you will. You will. Oh. He come to you, Sos. Xavier, why don't you go in there? It's not a tag. It's not a disqualification match. It is for Xavier. Wow. Wow. That's impressive, Gable. Yeah. Better than uh, my black son. Oh, holy, holy shit. Jesus. Oh, my God. The big guy, too? Fuck. Good for you, Chad Gable. Getting some shine. Oh, like tags matter. Is that all the Usos are doing in this match? Is super kicks. It's a super kick party. Oh, the match is over. Indeed. Three for three. Yeah. Yeah, I liked it. I picked the Usos. That was my first right one. I did not pick Ziggler. You didn't pick Ziggler, did you? No, I picked I, Corbin. I, I oh, picked... you saying three for three and good matches. Yeah, yeah, good for oh, matches. Okay. Gotcha, yeah. Gotcha, gotcha. I picked Rude. I picked Mojo. And I picked uh, Usos. I think I picked Zach. I think I picked Baron Zach. And Usos. I pick Mo. I think I picked Mojo, Zach, and Usos. You can't pick Mojo and Zach. Yeah, I can. <laughs> <laughs> Derp. Ooh, here you go, Rob. Spike Leather says uh, AOP versus Bludgeon Brothers. Uh, Would the big guys be able to work together? Maybe I, don't know. I, I think it'd be boring as fuck. Every time you got a big man against a big man, it's boring as fuck. Yeah, two big men versus two. two. Yeah, I, I like. Look, I, I like anything with uh, what's his fucking face? I hate Eric Rowan. Eric Rowan Harper. bores me. Harper, I'm good with Harper. Dude, Harper, I I don't know why they put him back in the tag division. He had, I think it was the IC belt, might have been the US, but he had one of those for a couple months, and he was getting over more than IC. Bray. Uh, yeah. Oh, excuse me, he had the IC title. That was the problem with the Wyatts. His Harper and Strowman were more over than Bray. Yeah. And Rowan couldn't stay healthy. They'd get him away from there. Accurate features. Does that mean Roman wins every time? Ha, ha, ha. You can't pin him. Uh
Oh, even with the gray, they got the gray beard on him too. Yeah, they you, couldn't. Even, they couldn't give him just for men on the doll. Well, here's a good time to talk about it. They they released a somewhat spoiler list of uh, WWE. No, inductees. they didn't. Re- they didn't release it. It was this. No, yeah, it was. Re- um, somebody released it. It, it, it was. It was. Yeah, when you say released, that sounds official. It was somebody Meltzer. wrote an article. Meltzer wrote the article. Okay, Meltzer wrote an article. Um, kind of a spoiler said that Goldberg will be the headliner of this year's class. So we got Goldberg. Yay. I wouldn't call it a spoiler. It's his opinion. Um, Dudley's. Bam Bam Bigelow, Ivory, and Kid Rock in the celebrity spot. Dudley's deserve it. Yeah. I would make a case that Bam Bam deserves it. Ivory, I think, deserves it. I would say Dudley's and Ivory. They des- you don't think Bam Bam deserves it? Not over uh, some other guys, but from what I read, the other part that I read is they vote for one woman. They vote for one, uh, tag, team. Pa- one tag team and one wrestler who has passed away. Oh, also. Okay. Is Bam Bam dead? Yeah. I, I think that they need to do away with the celebrities, or I think they need to get better go back celebrities. To the legitimate celebrities. When they put Mike Tyson in, Mike Tyson was a, a big part of wrestling world. He when was they a, put Bob Euchre in, I got it. I understood that one. Right. Kid Rock, Mr. T, Stretch. Yeah, Mr. T again. Another good celebrity in there. You uh, don't have to put a celebrity in every. Are they going to put old boy from uh, Limp Biscuit in? Uh, uh, Fred Durst. Fred Durst in next. Oh, jeez, Medin. I didn't know my superhuman strength was going to just snatch the microphone. Oh, oh, watch your queen. Your queen's on TV. Why don't you pay attention? I'm going to show off my Hanukkah present to the camera. If you get it, put it on the board. And then put it in the air. Just take this time to tell everyone how great Rob is. Uh, yeah, I'm fucking amazing. Uh, shut up. I said I was going to take the time to oh. do it, not you. Okay. Because when you do it, it sounds like you're bragging. But when somebody else does it, Justin, you know, it's yeah. different. So Rob yeah. Rob does a lot around here. And uh, everything. He doesn't get any credit for it. And we give him shit sometimes because sometimes he gets a little ornery about some of the things that we do. Well, we probably deserve it. But I just want to say right now, thank you, Rob. Oh, you're welcome. You're welcome. Hey, I want to say hi, hi to uh, Eduardo TM on the YouTube live board. Uh, he, he says, hello, Brazil. So I'm assuming he's meaning like hello from Brazil. So, hey, welcome. Buenvenidos. Yeah, yeah, Portuguese. Uh, Brazil. Is that, is that, your, any, is that I, your best I Portuguese? Yeah, I, I don't really know much else. You know, I when, I was in, when I went to Rio, uh, I knew enough Spanish to get by, and... I spoke to Spanish and they all they they all have understood me. So I nice. I think re- regional because they're surrounded by Spanish speaking. They probably more more likely it's a second language. But they're close. They're uh, Portuguese and very yeah. Close. It's very close. Very close. So you you could probably like us listening to some backwards regnet. We can we can figure out what they're trying to say. <laughs> and I'm not I'm not comparing <laughs> Spanish was, to backwards redneck. Say, no, I was gonna say which one. I wonder which one of those would be considered the backwards redneck. Of Spanish, who, like, who would be the red deck of, of linguistics? Uh, Portuguese or are we going straight to Mexicans right away, or are we this is, exploring this, is, this? You're Latino, so you you have so, fun with this conversation. Okay. I'm staying out of this one, fellow Latinos. <laughs> reach out. <laughs> poll, uh, let's create a poll on that. Who one. is the dumpster fire yeah, of the yeah, Latinos? Yeah, yeah. Who do you guys think? Uh, <laughs> I'm staying fucking far away from this one. Something they need to keep far away from is a microphone from Sarah Logan's mouth. Please stop letting her talk. All right. So we're about to have the women's match then. I don't like the angle of the lumberjack or lumberjill rather. Doesn't make this a fresh rivalry no. between Charlotte and Natty, and it also eliminates kind of the chance of Carmella doing anything with that briefcase, other than giving it a name about a month ago. She calls it Frankie. <laughs> they got to use that tonight. They got to use the the briefcase tonight. 
At least a tease, right? How do you, yeah, but how do you pull that off with every woman from your division in the ring or around surrounding the ring? Exactly. If they can figure that out, it'd be fucking pretty good. Yes, absolutely. Watch it be something really simple. We'll be like, oh, why didn't we think of that? Lumberjills getting... Oh, they didn't even call them Lumberjills. Because they're equal in America today. That's right. They're, they're jacks, too. You know, I was I was big on Naomi. I'm talking look-wise here back in the day. Then I took kind of got off her for a minute. But uh, I, I'm, I'm fully seated back in. You're back, a, on, you're back on the, on the train? Yeah, I'm back on the train. She's, hey, she's Brazil's been, here. She's been... Oh, we talked to She's been smoking hot for a... For a lately. Ooh, uh, did anybody address the stike leather question? How do you know that Brazilians speak Portuguese? Because I've been in Brazil. And because I pay attention to the world. That is, yeah, that is the uh, official language of Brazil. Yeah. It is Portuguese. Yeah, because they're settled from the Portuguese, from Portugal. Would you put Elizabeth in the but Hall of Fame pro- over Ivory? Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, absolutely. Where do they draw the line on the dead one? Can they put two women in, one dead and one that deserves? Uh, yeah, I don't think that, that I think that's the line. I don't know. I, Ivory deserves to be in there. Absolutely. Not only just from in-ring, but her backstage, like training some of the girls when they well, were coming up. And don't forget Tina Ferrari, if you count all of wrestling. Yeah, that's true, too. So. She was the first glow champ. They're just killing time. Why are they introing Lumberjills? Can anybody can anybody answer me that? I thought they just might do like the main ones and then the rest come in. Main ones? There aren't. I mean, Naomi in the storyline is a main one. Carmella's got the briefcase. She's a main one. Okay, what about Tamina? Nah, I don't get this at all. <laughs> and they're going to do Riot Squad. Is that what they're called? Yeah. Two T's. Two so they'll T's. come out together. For the two T's for two titties. <sighs> wow. No, never mind. No, they'll come out together. Yeah, they're yes. coming out. Yeah. Don't let the graphic fool you, Medin. Oh, little Harley Quinn thing going on there, Adam. I know. I like it. I already liked it, though. But, yeah. The, the, there's something about the hot, crazy chick. It's just, it is what it is. Did anybody figure out my T-shirt, by the way? No. Jay McMumbles. Eduardo, one day I had spoken to a gringo if he knew our language, and he said that you speak Brazilian. Oh, somebody told him they he speaks Brazilianism. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> now, is gringo a reference or is it is, is it a, a derogatory term? I would say it's a slang term for a. But just slang, but not derogatory. Um, uh, not necessarily. Cabron, can, Cabron is derogatory. It can be derogatory, but I don't think so. It's just more like, hey, that. Yeah, there's a bunch of gringos that, on the other side of the hill. They're having a party. You want to go join? Yeah, they're the white American yeah. types. I'm learning to speak English yet. You're getting better. You're doing all right. If you're just learning, well done. I mean, it's, a, it's a horrible language. It used to be pretty nice. Now it's just a bunch of fucking letters bound together. How you doing, man? Having a great time. Hold on, BRB. By the way, what you did earlier, huh, LOL. Because I'm too lazy to use syllables and it's true. say laugh out loud. And how many people write LOL and actually laugh out loud? Nobody. You just put it now to save your ass because there's no context in texting, right? Yeah, I like haha. If you laugh, haha. Yeah. If I if I it's ever it's four letters. L O L O U. It's because I actually laughed. Yeah. Right. Yes. Multiple LOLs. I actually laughed. Stream, streaming together. Or L M A O. Or yeah, L M A O. It was actual laugh. Yeah, L O L is just a. I, I wasn't being serious, dude. Calm down. Yeah, Medin, no, no, I was just, you know, I said, breaking Kira, it down for everybody. Kara get mad at me That's for some of my texts, and I'm and, and I'll go. She's like, put LOL if you were joking. And I, I, I shared that one that Brian sent me with Medine, and he gave me an LMAO about Rich Swan's entrance. That was I a was good one. Di- I was dying. Oh, I thought you had put it together yourself <laughs> oh, on no. 2K18. Oh no, I'm not that. I'm too lazy for that. I know, but I was dying. I actually have all the superhero wrestlers on there because somebody else created them, and I just downloaded them. You did the work of the download. 
Now, 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 now. Twelve thousand. Twelve thousand. She's got like twelve thousand cats. Introduce those mother. No, Taya. You think like Clash of Champions is like the favorite pay per view for the announcer guy? No, Clash of Champions. Don't you think that's like the favorite pay per view for the announcer guy? Like that's the the night he gets to do the most work. Like yeah, I get to. Like, introduce everyone. In theory, that's what Lumberjacks are. <laughs> or do you think the horsewomen? All right, it, cash strike strike leather. If they do the four horsemen women versus four horsewomen match at Mania, they need to take a title off of her so it can be defended at Mania. Or do you think they do the horse women match at Mania, then Carmella cashes in after the match? I don't know. Sure, either one. Yeah. You know what I think is a poetic thing? Is that I'm about to leave Adam alone during the women's match. That's good stuff. I'll be back. So, NXT has good women. I don't know why most of these girls came through NXT, but yet they can't be booked right on the main roster. It's, it's boggling to me. They... They could be booked right. And I think NXT is the reason that you is how you book these girls right. Do not put them on TV every week if you want to sell good rivalries. They don't have to be built every week. You could have the champ versus the contender one week. You could have a grudge match type thing another week. They can cut promos if you want, but they don't have to be in the ring each time. And alternate like that and build some actual feuds. SmackDown, since the brand split, I don't think it's had a single grudge feud. It's all been about the belt, or it's been poorly thrown together tag matches. That's, that's what they do. I'm not normally one to counter you, Adam, but I will say that with limited time on a SmackDown television show, to skip well, weeks where you're not having certain th people, especially the girls will possibly have the audience forget about some of the ones who do not rise to the top. What I'm saying, though, is imagine, okay, Natty and Charlotte. They have uh, a match or something. Like, you, you put Natty against Ruby Riot, okay? And Charlotte's on commentary. And then the next week, it's Charlotte versus Ruby Riot, and Natty's on commentary. They do they, do that. They, wait, there's one segment that you draw out. Now you take... Another another rivalry, Tamina versus Carmella. And you put that as a pro backstage promo attack to set that up. They have their ring ring in the next week. And you just continue from there. You don't have to have them on each week. You can do a little promo or a backstage segment with them so you don't forget. I don't know if you remember the last one that I truly remember doing this was Randy Orton when he got injured to make sure you didn't forget about him. He kept giving you the Randy update, and he would say, "I'm at 38 percent." That was the way that you go, you going back in the time machine for that, right? One. But you wouldn't forget about them if they were on TV at least in a promo. They don't have to wrestle every week. They don't have to be trumped out there in a tag match. Is my point. I think every two weeks is a, is a good. Uh, That's what I'm saying. You have three weeks. A good level. You give get them on two out of the three, and you're good. They get on every, two out of every three weeks. You make sure that they're on doing something. That's not a lot. That's reasonable. I've watched a lot of Natty Charlotte matches over the past, well, I wouldn't say a lot, but I feel like having seen them live at SmackDown, live at Starcade, now 
again tonight. These matches are a little bit different. This one, uh, Natty seems to be the aggressor as well as just dominating with the submission holds, whereas wearing her down. In the past, it was more technique and maneuvers. Well, part of the wearing down, though, is the girls on the outside beating that ass. Whenever speaking, any one of them has gone outside. Speaking of which, the the queen's uh, lower uh, garment is is quite revealing this evening. What do you mean? Shorter than I than a normal, I believe. Oh, ooh, that's nasty right there. The queen sells very well. That's one of the things, you know, you appreciate more since we started this podcast is, is looking at the good sells. I know it's kind of a theme of what me and Rob were talking about before, but. Eduardo, ask a question. Yes, you may ask a question. Which woman wow, on the roster nice. would we? Oh, no. I miss anything worth a damn? What's that, brother? I miss anything worth a damn? No, not really. I was I was doing some Charlotte Natty analysis. That, that's a good point, Stike Leather, but that was, I think, more because it was Nikki Bella. What about somebody else doing that same type of thing? I think that was total divas driven. There you go. There you go. Stike Leather, he's playing politics on the board and not a answering his own question. He says, who are your top three to win the Rumble this year? He says, his are Shinsuke, Cena, and a first-time winner. Well, a first-time winner implies the three-quarters of the fucking roster, Stike Leather. That's like a Medine guess. I'm going to pick everybody. No, nah, I wouldn't even do that, brother. Um, but, but who would be your top three, guys? I know you said Bobby. Bobby. I'm going I'm going crazy. Shinsuke. I'm going Roman, Shinsuke, or The Undertaker. Please no on Roman. Please no on Undertaker. I know. But that that's what I'm going with. Um Yeah, Roman, Bobby, Shinsuke. You always have to put Roman. You have to. I'm gonna say the guy. I'm going to say Finn, Seth, and Shinsuke. This guy is imagining things. Seth? I think it's – I, I just pray, Stike Leather, honestly, I pray that it's a first-time winner. Yeah. I, I want it to be a first-time winner. No Roman. No, no. Make it be what it used to be, a vaulting point. You don't have King of the Ring anymore. The only other vault you have is Money in the Bank. That's what she sounds. Was uh, Be is Becky out there? No, Becky's been got off filming uh, oh. Marine Six also. So when they killed her, do you remember how they killed her? They slammed her in between the door like six times. The riot squad did. Did they? Yeah. Becky hasn't been seen since. That's why I was wondering. Uh. She'll come back and, and get some retribution. Save the day. She won't get absolution, though. No, they're, they're on Raw. Right, wrong show. Why won't they ever bend back into it? Sit down. It's a sharpshooter. Sit down. Yeah, that looks like an inverted wheelbarrow race right now. You know? Yeah. That does not look like a sharpshooter. That's an inverted wheelbarrow race. It's a complete mess. 
Everybody's fucking getting in everybody's way. Lana's just hitting old girl in the back, and she's just like, fuck off. Yeah. No. I thought it'd be a tease. That's what I wanted. Just a tease of it. Just, just a tease. You got a tease. That was, your, a, that was your tease. That was a little tease. game of just the tip. Yeah, right? That was it. That's kind of sexual harassment right now, all the girls on the screen. Yeah, just the tip. Yeah, bad, bad timing for the joke. No, I didn't tell it to any of them. In I a, told it to my audience. Yeah, I know, but that's the timing. Just saying. That's, 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 that's Sean, the new, it's about the backflip on everybody. That's the new rules. Can't do anything fun. Oh, uh, Justin's buying into RJ's bullshit. Anybody catch her? I hope no. Not. Her feet landed, and then she fell back into them. That's, they're terrible. Roman is already a Rumble winner and Grand Slam wrestler. Wettest hair in the room and future Hall of Famer. Yeah, he's. Yeah, he doesn't need a Rumble win. Future Hall of Famer, Grand Slam champion, wettest hair Please in the room. Please don't make him. I'm feeling split personalities coming on. Uh... Hey, everybody, it's RJ Black. No. You can get the macho man. RJ Black was failed. What about the macho? Uh, Lana was knocked down by the wind, apparently. <laughs> Perfect 11 says. She did just kind of fall over. Small package. It would have looked the same 11, even if she got hit. Figure eight. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. All right, I got a second one right. What do we think of that match, boys? Quick and decent. Fresh. Decent. All it right. Was decent for the circumstances. It could have been worse. Put it that way. Yeah. yeah it could have been a lot worse. It's fine. I'll give it a four for four. Now is this feud over? Or yeah, it's done. This is done. I think you gotta say this one's done too. Yeah. Fuck. She just threw Liv Morgan down. It was Naomi. I don't think I don't think a I don't think a raw guy will win the rumble because they have the elimin, the elimination pay per view. The elimination exactly. chamber pay per view. Which Roman's gonna win? So there you go. It's yeah, but guy. last year, I mean, the guy's gonna win. There's I'm no with questions. you, Stike, but don't forget last year, who won? Randy Orton, who had elimination chamber pay per view. Smackdown. Smackdown. Yeah, that was last year though. That's not this year. Yeah, but still, you make a reference. I mean, it's. There's precedent. There's precedent that it could be the same show. Uh oh, what's saying. gonna happen here? A disappointing outcome for you tonight. What? Meow. Uh, I showed up. <laughs> That's I what went wrong. wrong. Tonight, Charlotte did what Charlotte does best. She uses her family name to cut corners. Wow. Wow. That's pot, kettle. I have given the WWE Universe some of the best matches the women have come. We're buffering. Yeah. Thank goodness. We have ever seen. Yeah. If she wasn't healed before. Oh, come on. Now, now I'm interested in this fucking buffering again. Because the fans are shouting so much obscenities. They keep taking the volume away. Did she get Cat Lady uh, plastic surgery? The WWE wants to turn their back on me. The WWE wants to turn their back on me. Yeah. The women want to turn their back on me. 
Yeah. You do look pretty good from the back. Oh, poor Natty. Oh, sell the tears. This is the worst cry. This is like uh, uh, Ben Stiller in Tropic Thunder. Yeah. I just can't cry. Didn't you have like a dog who died as a kid? Think about that. What are you doing down here? Why? This interruption brought to you by Rob's oldest daughter. The hell game is this shit? Everybody looks all weird and distorted. Mayhem. I kind of had that Def Jam Vendetta feel, but not quite. That's what it, that, it, yeah. I remember Def Jam Vendetta. That was fun. That was a lot of there fun. Was, that was one of those games that, uh, you know, they, they went too far with. Like, Tony Hawk was awesome. Fight for New York. They yeah, they went to fight for New York and try to make sequels. too many. But the first one that was really good. The yeah. Def Jam Vendetta was, was uh, entertainment. Just like movies, video games can be ruined with a sequel. Or in the Grand Theft Auto case, one and two, nobody even remembers. They were 2D <laughs> bullshit. And then you have GTA 3. Yeah, number three five. is actually like number one, if you think about it. And yeah. then it goes from there, yeah. I mean, they completely went from a 2D gaming platform where you couldn't do anything but steal a car and drive to actual missions man gta 5 got me through unemployment we still we need to go back and watch that uh table for three with uh sting steamboat and flair i really wish that i had more Did you access hear about that one no, I really wish I had more access to watch that show because that show seems like the most interesting one. Well, it depends. Sometimes it's shit. I mean, like, sometimes it's shit. If they if they don't want to talk about anything, like, but what we some of them are know, just fodder, right? Like Nash Hall and uh, who was it that was with Angle on there? Real quick, though, did you hear about Scott Hall and King Kong Bundy over the weekend? I guess last week at a convention, Scott Hall get, gets there late. He's a little bit drunk, starts talking shit to King Kong Bundy. So he's and, off the wagon. And Bundy puts his ass down. So that's how that's the story. What's eating now, fatty? Brownie? Make good. Just get King Kong Bundy over here to my left. How did it feel to knock out Scott Hall earlier last week? No, I felt good. What he said. Doo doo. Oh, we still got fashion. Fashion police, KO. Is that you think KO is going to be main event? It could be. Oh, yeah. I think it is. I, you know, AJ always deserves the main event, but Jinder doesn't deserve it. So, yeah. With, with them being fired and that being the big swerve and storyline, yeah, that's the main event. It's got a McMahon in it. Of course it's the main event. And Bludgeon Brothers will probably be a filler right before the main event. Am I right, though, Adam? It's got, a, McMahon, that? It's got a McMahon in it. Yeah. Of course it's the main event. Hey, Eduardo... About 20 minutes ago, you asked us if you could ask a question. We're still waiting. Maybe he dipped. <laughs> Perfect 11. I hope Natty starts throwing cats at people like the crazy old lady on The Simpsons. Yeah, I saw that. Funny. 
Because does that mean that the two of you will not be in sex? That's what it looks like. Right there. <laughs> this is going to watch to find out what's next. Thank you very much for your time, Brian. You're welcome. You're welcome. You're welcome. So, Rob, I don't know, uh, just because we got nothing on wrestling here, so I don't know uh, how you did this, but, like, sleep training, we're at about a week where she's sleeping a full eight hours. We put her down at a certain time, and it's a little brutal. We got to time it out, like, on a clock, according to the training, like, let her cry. Yeah. And, it, and it's brutal letting her cry for, like, 10, 15 minutes. It's like, it's like playing a, a, a Hootie and Bullfish on loop. Right. Let her cry. But uh, it's working. She's cried herself to sleep. It's a little rough, like, letting her do it. But we got her. We're trying to get that schedule. All right. Good story. I don't know. I just didn't know what your experience with it because I know you got the demon. I don't know. I, I, I Everything I just played by ear. <laughs> you guys haven't wrestled in a while. Not on TV, at least. And here they are at a pay-per-view. Over under three minutes, guys. Oh, under. Yeah, under. No, I'll go over. I'll go under five. I'm going 254. I'm going to go under two. No, I think I, I think I think the fast plates are good for pretty good exchange. I think this is all about the Bludgeon Brothers, though. Hey, fat ass says just give your baby NyQuil. Don't worry, I'm not above drugging my baby. Benadryl. When they get a little bit older, the uh, melatonin is great. Really? Yeah. Or is it melanin? No, melatonin. <laughs> Give them a tan? Yeah. <laughs> melanin. Your children are already black. You don't need a tan. No. What was the second match? Uh, U.S. title. Mojo and Zach first. What was the third match then? Uh, tag match? No. No, there's something before that. That's what I'm trying to remember. Oh, no. Who's... Let's see. Um... I think that's, that's all. Is Mojo Zach, KO Sammy, Fashion Police, Tag Team, Women's US, WWE. So Zach Mojo and then US and then Tag Team and then the women. Really? Yeah. So I've only, so this is only the fourth match? Yeah. Without, without Mojo. Yeah. Wow. Here we come. We have hammers. We're gonna hammer you into the into the mat, like like nails. The music's pretty badass. I'll give them that. I definitely think they should keep their uh, their Wyatt masks. Like Harper should still be wearing the sheep mask. Rowan's still wearing a version of his. Christy got mad at me when her mom was in town. And uh, we got on the topic about how, uh, you know, the stuff we used to do when we were kids. 
and she was not allowed to go out on a school night, but she was allowed to go to Young Life. So every week I would pick her up and we'd go to Young Life. And of course, we didn't necessarily go to Young Life. And I, I Christy got mad at me because I asked her mom, I go, you never thought it was weird that her Jewish boyfriend picked her up every week to go to Young Life? What's Young Life? Young Life is like a Christian youth group. Like I'm supposed to know that? Well, I'm... Pronouns, pal. Hey, I thought it was funny. Yeah, thank you for sharing. Oh, looks like Rob might be right. Come on, little Nates, get control. I enjoy what the Bludgeon Brothers do. You don't get paid by the hour. You just beat people up. What is this? Oh, God. Wait a minute. Oh, oh nice. fuck. All right. Didn't mind that too much. I don't think I've seen that before. Oh, this is it right here. Can nobody do power bombs on their own anymore? <laughs> it's a horrible tag. It was. Oh, that was brilliant, Corey. Three minutes. Three minutes. Well, that was a pay-per-view match. Yeah. How long was that feud built up on Fashion Files and who attacked them and all that jazz? Baby. Is that a Zoe Deschanel? What's her name? No, oh, no, it's not. Looks like her, though. Pretty close. First glance. I'm being dumb. Motives. What is this? Ulterior motive? Yeah, what is this? 
this law and order. Where'd you get that word of law and order? That sounds sounds really cute. Look, it's it's really cute of Daniel Bryan to frame it that way. The way that we know why he made himself the second special guest referee. We 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 understand his motives, don't we? See, Daniel Bryan is the only reasonable thing about SmackDown Live. So yes, absolutely, we know why he made the second why, why he made himself as the second referee. Moreover, we also know why that. When the ref was incapacitated, he made himself referee and counted the one, two, three to give Kevin Owens the victory. We know. That was a joke victory, might I add. See, it seems that people seem to forget that Shane McMahon has a clear history of screwing me over when he's the special guest referee in my matches, just like he did this past summer when he made sure to ruin my opportunity to take back my United States title. Remember, disgusting is the right word. But see, Daniel Bryan knows that this right here, uh -oh. this is eight plus I'm getting nine. a big goose egg eight from Bryant right now. And all he's doing is making sure that tonight is a fair fight. And because of that, I'll tell you one thing right here, right now. The Sammy and Kevin show is not getting canceled anytime soon. And more importantly, the Yep movement Yep. Thanks, gentlemen, but what if you don't win and you're fired from all of WWE? Well, I'm Commercials. You're welcome. Stikes out. Night, everybody. Bye, Stike. Perfect 11. I feel like my IQ was just bludgeoned. I've just. <laughs> there was, there's nothing to talk about there. I mean. No. Oh, that happened. I might have to look for the Medinesboro exit. I think it's interesting. Well, not really interesting, but <laughs> well, it's not really. It's a little odd. Four years ago, they held the Royal Rumble at Philly, and then they also held WrestleMania in New Orleans four years ago, and now they're doing that again. As maybe well. it's just a cycle that we didn't notice in the past, or that they maybe they a new cycle they just put embarked themselves upon in the past four years. The contracts they had with these places, or who knows what backdoor agreements they well, had. that wasn't, I mean, I think there's certain places that they do a pay-per-view every year no matter what. For they sure. shuffle it. For sure. Boston, like this. L.A. Because um, wasn't Boston was where the Rumble was last year, I believe. L.A., no. they always go yeah. to Chicago. They always LA. go to, you know, there's going to be one of them in uh, probably Cleveland, Miami. You know, they, they, they go to the big cities. And, of course, Brooklyn last, what, three Summer Slams, about to be four in a row? Yeah, it sure is. They did. You don't need to remind me. Yep, you remind, you've reminded us like seven times so far this broadcast. Yep. Yes. Yep. Yes. Yep. 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 Check. Yep. 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 Double check. Is that Carlito? Triple check. Look like no way, Jose. He's been MIA. Oh, they'll get him back in. He might be hurt. I think he got hurt. 
No way. <laughs> Jose. On a stick. <laughs> sure. <laughs> <laughs> Pepper. Pepper. So I guess uh, AJ and Ginger are the main event. All right. Champion should be the main event. It should. But I could see why it wouldn't be. I'm just hoping for something special here. Kinshasa. This is the second time they've shown this tonight, by the way. This whole promo package. Are they running early on time? Do we care? Is this just stalling? Juan's got the all-seeing eye from the dollar bill. Is that, is that something he's going to eat? Is yeah, that, can you eat that, Juan? I'm going to eat the pyramids. Are they mad out of chocolate or are they like candy coins and I can peel, peel the front off and it's chocolate? And, I want to eat, eat pyramids. I ate all the Mayan pyramids. <laughs> got nothing else to talk about. Talk about how big Juan is. Well, I mean, they, we they uh, so they spoiled the the, win, the match here by announcing that Sammy's going to be in the mixed gender tag team event. So we yeah. know he's not losing. Well, that's why the only swerve is going to be the double pin. So we we don't have a true winner. Bird is the word. Bird is the word. <laughs> now you have a Sunday. 
Oh, it's an apple piece of apple pie. At least the fans will carry the entrance on, even if WWE wants to cut it down. The fans are popping for the right people tonight. WWE what? needs to take notice. They popped hard for Knock, Bobby, and for Rusev in English. Yeah, but it's Boston. What's that mean? It's a good city. It's a mark town. Like Philly. Philly and Chicago, yeah. Chicago hates everybody. Mania. Chicago would have been chanting punk by now. I like the KO on the sides. I, never, I haven't seen that yet. Now they put a... No? Fuck me? I wasn't listening. Instead of how they put KO on each side, KO on a Titan Tron? Oh, that's pretty cool. What are you, are you, what are you doing? Are you playing the Futurama right now? Yeah, the match hasn't started. Tantalizing conversation. Right? You're eating pie. Medine's tweeting or watching a basketball game. You know we got another TV right here. You can put the game on if you want to. No, I was messing around on social media. Oh. Actually, speaking of basketball, the Hornets play the Knicks tomorrow night, and I'm disappointed. The game hasn't even started. Why are you disappointed? Porzingis went out with a knee injury on Thursday, then didn't play in their win last night. Over the returning Carmelo Anthony, who played like shit. He got a great cheer when he came out, but then they booed him when he went out because he finished 5 of 13. But uh, I was looking forward to seeing uh, Porzingis and Rodgers back-to-back, two of my favorites right now. And it looks like I got Rodgers today, which was great. But uh, don't know that I'll get to see the 7-3 Latvian tomorrow. That's disappointing. This match better not be disappointing. How are they doing this two ref in the ring thing? This is like earlier with the fatal four way thing. It's gonna get weird. Each team is going to have their ref. Both 
close that trip to the TV and see what it is. Tom James, I don't think the commissioner, the final player of the general manager. You don't know. This is uncharted territory that we're seeing. Sammy Zane would start things off against Randy Orton in this tag team matchup again. If Sammy Zane is 7 0 and lose, they will be fired from all of WWE. So if they're not covering this match, who's going to count the pinfall? I'm eventually we're going to get that answer to it. You know, people out here singing the praises of what a great idea this is. This could be completely chaotic. This could not solve anything. I didn't say this is a great idea. I didn't say it was a great idea to have Daniel Bryan as a second special guest referee. Shane McMahon and Daniel Bryan getting a watchful eye early on here. Remember what Daniel Bryan said? He's here to protect the integrity of SmackDown Live. Here's a cover. Both men with a trip. Let's go. Yeah. 11. Adam's playing a Futurama game where he builds cities and shit. And uh, it, another part of the game is he ignores all of his friends all day long when he hangs out with them. Because he plays that shit like non fucking stop. Yeah, Randy's hair, man, getting a little a la old Randy. The young Randy looking like the well, the old Randy looking like a young Randy. Right, right. A little vintage Orton haircut. I'm still disappointed Randy didn't choose Shane as his partner and just have Daniel Bryan as the referee of this match. Uh, but it's a, this is a different spin. This is something they haven't done before. Uncharted territory. So I mean, I'm sure they've done two referees before. Yeah, you've had you've had conflicts between two referees before. That's I'm not sure new. This, this is not new, but but the GM, uh, the GM commissioner. That's that's a new twist to it. Yes. And I appreciate them at least making the attempt to try something that's the same and do it differently. But well, that's what WWE is all about: is tweaking what they've already done. Oh yeah, because no idea is original at this point. Tom Zank passed away today. The Z-Man, the other half of the Can-Am connection with Rick Martell. Oh, yeah? That sucks for him, I guess. He was a good athlete, a decent tag team wrestler for sure. That's what I remember most as. I think he was a television champion in uh, WCW in, in the beginning for a short period of time. Tom Zank. The Z Man was his uh, w WCW moniker. I remember that. It worked for a, a who's qu counting? Quick second. There was Rest three. There was a three count between the two referees there. Oh, this is already getting stupid. They have a side. Yeah, now they're. You stay on your side of the ring. That's dumb. How's he going to be the check and balance on him? 
Sorry, everybody. I think we kind of zoned out and forgot that there was a match going on or that there was an audience listening. Kind of in our own worlds there for a second. But uh, this is kind of a, so far, not much conflict between the two referees other than well, a little bit of Yeah, they had to jamming. split the ring down. Yeah, half. other than that. But uh, we're still how, I mean... How long do you think, how much longer, excuse me, do you think this match goes, Adam? Another 12 to 15 minutes or less? Well, it's not even 10 o'clock, and there's no way Jinder and AJ fight for an hour. So I don't, I don't know. There's got to be some controversy, maybe even a restart. If it's, you're saying it's not 10 yet? It's not even 10 yet. 9.52. So this match is going to go on for another 20 minutes. Potentially. Yes, absolutely. That's why I think this maybe a restart. Goes. I think maybe it ends and they do a restart or something. This match goes on for another 20 to 25 minutes. And then we get AJ and Jinder for about 15 by 20 minutes. And that that's your evening. Okay. Kevin 
And there's the tag, and Owens is on the board as they shift the bases. So far, this is not counting. I don't count Bludgeon Brothers and Fandango. Because that was just booking a storyline. So far, this has been kind of lackluster by comparison. I think we were expecting more conflict between the referees. Oh, we'll get it. I think this is just the uh, calm before the storm, if you will, the build. They got to have a match so it's not just all about the referees. True. Oh, weird, like, kind of Pele kick. Good shot of Sammy's ass, or Daniel Bryan's ass there. That's another thing I was worried about when I realized what was going to happen in this match with both referees being in there. It was camera angles. An extra person in the ring, you're going to miss some things, or someone's going to be in the way. No question. Or does he does he get admonished by both refs there? They didn't do a very good job. Hey, two refs are good to watch two different tags at least. There's something. Oh, nice. Okay. Fall away instead. Kind of, a, kind of an exploder there. Oh, 
Wow, did you hear that? The What's Panthers that? are being put up for sale at the end of the season. Uh, the Richard Richardson, uh, you heard about the allegations that came out in the past couple of days about Jerry Richardson with some yeah. misconduct, and now this news comes out. No coincidence. He's getting like the Clippers. <laughs> He's trying to avoid the shit storm before it arrives. Well, there was also uh, racial allegations against him as well. Yeah. Wasn't just uh, sexual allegations. Yeah, what's the point of having two officials when neither one of them is going to rein this in? Two refs, neither of them counting either team out. It's it, tonight has been the night of bad ideas, like the tag team match rules, and then the two refs. They don't, they don't, they have a plan. Like, hey, let's do this, but let's not figure out how to do it. Like, just go out there and make it up. But we don't know how to do it. We're not going to figure it out. Lame. Was that a holy shit moment? We've seen that probably at half the pay-per-views this year. Yeah. So while you were gone uh, on the TV, Jerry Richardson's putting the team up for sale at the end of the season. Oh, because of sexual stuff? Probably. Wow. It can be inferred that that's why. Oh, yeah. I heard it was some racial shit, too. Uh, it didn't surprise me, actually. No. He's a good old boy. Clippers dude lost his team for racial shit. Yep. Wasn't even really uh the NFL's a right wing type of uh organization, so he's not gonna lose no team. NBA is more left lefty. Well yeah, ownership wise, yeah. Yeah, NBA's uh, and uh, just the league wise in general is yeah. more about unity and NFL, nah. Yo, I love the, mil I, I, you know, I have no problem celebrating the military. But God damn, you know how many fucking military uh, commemorations they had in today's game? You know the military pays for those, right? Yes, yes. Yeah. Here we go. Here comes the refs fighting. Jeez, Rob, there was like six, maybe even eight. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's all, it's all, uh, I don't want to say propaganda, but it, it, it is propaganda. yeah. It's all paid advertising by the military. It's not. The NFL's willingness to salute the troops. It's the troops saying, hey, can we buy some time where you salute the troops? Oh, yeah. 
The refs are fighting because Kevin Owens pushed Daniel Bryan in the way. No. Daniel Bryan got pushed into Shane while he was doing the count. Let's fucking pin him right now. Randy, what the hell are you doing? Oh, damn fuck. Damn, shit. Shane just run into him. RKO out of nowhere. Oh, the fast count. Wow. Well, we knew Sammy had to win. He's booked already. Wow. They, don't even play, they don't even play Sammy's music and he gets the pin. No, fuck him. Wow. Oh, yeah, Nakamura's in the match. I forgot all about him. Right. So we're going to get some uh, Shane McMahon, Daniel Bryan fallout. So we're going to get some, uh, some Shane and Daniel fallout. Does Shane fire Daniel? All right, so any analysis on that match, guys? Or we're just going to sit here in the quiet? You know? uh, if I had to give analysis, I don't know that that double ref idea worked. It worked to progress the story. 
But the fat and the fast count, eh, we haven't seen a fast count in a while, so maybe maybe I am on board with it. But so, I'm just not sure what to think of it right now. Does it shift Shane from KO to Daniel? I thought it was interesting how the that even though Shane screwed Sammy, the fans were so adamant about being like, "Oh, that was wrong," even though right, you know, Shane remember just a couple months ago was the face in that uh, dynamic, and when Sammy came and helped KO, we were like, "Oh my God, Sammy went heel," and now all of a sudden he's not. He's not the heel in the situation. S Sammy became the, the sympathetic face somehow. It's weird that that occurred over a pat, a, not even, what, three months? So you guys going to stay quiet on the analysis? Yeah, that's what I thought. I on just, to other news. I'm just no, I'm curious if KO, if it's KO and, and Shane Dunn. That's. No. Yeah, is this, I, I like what Rob's talking about. Does this just no. deflect it to. To Daniel, Daniel Bryan, because if if this is the way they're, the way they're going to end Shane and KO, I got to say it was a cheap ass way to end it. They had a great beginning to it with the with Vince McMahon and 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 KO, and then you've let it slowly fester and fizzle, fizzle out. And now it, if this is how you end it, then that's a such a waste of a good. Uh, well, a does good this line. align Daniel Bryan with them? I don't like the way it all played out, how the breakdown. First, we got to separate the ring in half, and then Kevin Owens pushes Daniel Bryan. So Shane intentionally does it, and then Daniel Bryan does it quick. Uh, the, the, whole, the whole escalation of the whole referee thing, it never it never popped for me. There was a never – not only that, Adam, I don't feel like there was enough of a build throughout the match. It was only like – they were in the beginning a slight bickering, then they separated the ring, and then they were pretty much neutral almost the entire it's time. Because this until is supposed to be. They ran into each other later on. It, there was no, there was nothing in between that that made me care. Right, and this is supposed to be a big feud, like builder between Daniel Bryan and Shane, and to not have all those spots of like true dissension. I mean, the the promos build this up more than the actions. Yeah, that's true. What are you talking crazy, Damn Juan? True. Juan says gender wins. Gender's not going to win. I would find it very odd if gender won tonight. Okay. Just remember, uh, be a strange ending if you're new story. to a show after the show, that's all we got two thumbs down on YouTube. Hey, this is not supposed to be the highly analytical portion of the show. If you're coming to watch this with us, thinking you're going to get Dave Meltzer and Salamonster and all those people, we're just this is just us watching the pay per view. Yeah, we'll and, have our reaction show after. Yeah, we'll do our reaction show after the fucking after this. All right, we'll reset and do the reaction show. This is just us hanging out with you guys. So if you want to go and thumbs down because it makes you feel like you're some kind of big fucking big person with your opinion, you know, go fuck yourself. And you know if you want to they, chat no. on the board with us, even better. But yeah. hey, you, you know, know what? Contribute. Thanks for the thumbs down. Thanks for responding in a negative way. You're just gonna make us be that much better later on. Don't put pressure on me. And you can continue to thumbs down our shit because you're a thumbs down. <laughs> Wow. wow. You are a thumbs Way down. Way to put that uh, troll you, in his place. He, uh, damn you brought, right. the, you brought the thunder. That's what I do. Uh, and the lightning. My dad's comebacks are harsher than my I, I get it. Now, I get it. If you were to come to our channel right now thinking, like, oh, what's these guys talking about? And then we, he, you show up and there's our 30, 40 seconds, two minutes of dead air. <laughs> and you're like, what the fuck are they even doing? Yeah, this I, I can see why you'd be like, well, this is bullshit. But I'm just telling you, no. It's bullshit, we do, our, we do our reaction show after the fucking pay-per-view right now. This is just us We're inviting... We're bullshitting. It's just us inviting you to join us to watch. Yeah, that's bullshitting. it. We're just hanging out. Yeah. That's it. If you so, want a thumbs down to hang out, leave. Yeah, Nobody douche. invited. We didn't really, it's not that you were really invited. You can watch me eat apple pie, or you can wait till we do the reaction show, whatever I'm you want. I'm looking at those chips right now. Like, whose are those? Yeah, you can watch us <laughs> eat those <laughs> Pringles. Yourself, buddy. See? You want some Pringles? Not for thumbs down. You ain't getting no Pringles. 
Here. How many times has AJ been champ now? Three? This is two. third title reign? Two. No. Yeah, I think it's only two, two. of them. Who else did he beat? He beat Dean Ambrose the first time. And then I and thought he lost it and won it back. No, who? Not from Dean. Dean. No, not from Dean. Not from who who did he lose it from? I don't think so. You're wrong. Just admit you're wrong. I John, thought he was the one who no, lost I, it I, to I, Bray I Wyatt. He lost to who lost to Bray Wyatt? Oh, Cena. You're right. Cena. And AJ lost it to Cena. Yeah. And he so beat Dean Ambrose for it and lost to Cena, and that yeah. was the only one. Yeah. Him and the Pringles. Okay. That is correct. Him and Dean. Pringles. Ten fifteen. Early night, then. No way this goes 30 minutes. Wom, I will ban you from the board if you Star Wars uh, spoil. Yes. I, I will ban you from the channel. Yes. If you spoil Star Wars. Yes. I'm you ruined you right now. It for me on DMs. What? He ruined it for me on DMs, but I feel it was um, somewhat karma because I said Carl got bit. Mm. You know. So I kind of deserved it. Don't put me in that position, uh, Juan. Don't make me the bad guy, Juan. Don't do it. They don't want none. Don't want none. Don't want none. It was the first time that match between Styles and Mahal where the WWE Championship changed hands overseas. Oh, really? Yeah. I didn't realize that. I didn't either. Now, that is a fun fact, Medine. That's a fun fact, Medine. Thanks, guys. I got to take this exit. I'm just going to go ahead and give our video a thumbs up. There you go. Yay. You should follow suit as well on all of our social media platforms. Thumbs <laughs> up, not down, up. W.E. Turner.
Gainesville, Georgia. I know I'm a geek when it comes to people's gear. AJ's gear. Fucking tight. Right? Yeah. You know, and it's funny because you and I have had our disagreements on gear in the past when it comes to wrestlers. But tonight we do agree. I love the design on the tights. It's got the, uh, the ode to... Japan, yeah. The characters on the side. It's got a fake belt. Is that a real belt? I don't know. Almost looks like pants, but now nah, you couldn't wear that. Well, you couldn't wear that. No, I couldn't wear that. Justin says that Medine's got a uh, future this day in wrestling history here. <laughs> oh yeah. I think he was talking about your uh, overseas oh, like, yeah. change. Uh, it's a belt. Yeah, you're Jack Mahal, we know. He's going to kick him. Oh, see, even AJ knew that, Jinder. Yep, take out the big man's legs. Oldest story in the book. I got no problem with working a, a limb, though. Oh, I'm not complaining about it. Identify the target area. Talk about your cells there, Rob. Yeah. AJ's no slouch, man. He takes every bump for real, it looks Especially like. Especially those ring, those ring ones. I mean, excuse me, ring ropes. And the apron. <laughs> oh, God. When you're bouncing off the ring ropes. Well, no. Also, he takes the bumps on the apron. Of course, once the apron. But the ropes on, the ri on your ribs, that can't feel real good. Get a little rope burn. Literally. Oh, and again, right back from the left leg, 
left flank of Coke Horn. Pulling the place to pieces. I'm pulling the pace to pieces. Oh, Jesus. Like we said, AJ sells everything to the max. Look at this shit, Medine. Oh, my God. Like, they should actually check to see if he's okay for <laughs> that one. Like I'm, I'm legit worried. He's grabbing his ribs. Seriously, that one was a little bit intense. Turn that shit down. Samir and Sunil. Um, Ebony and Ivory. With Simone and what are the what are the twins from uh, Simone and whatever? I don't know. Harmony side by side on my piano. Why don't they just do the raw announce boost down by the ring? Why do they got to be different and do it up on the by the Titan Tron? It makes no sense. It's, it's, yeah, I mean, I get it. You're a different brand. You got to do things a little different. Dumb. Dumb. You're dumb. You're just dumb. I hope that on the 25th anniversary show that they put the booth back by the ring. And the rumor is that JR and the King are going to do that night. That would be fun. Right? Yeah. I'd be down. Like, you that. almost wouldn't want to go there just because yeah. you, if you know JR and the King are going to do that night, you'd want to yeah. watch that at home. Oh, yeah. The only thing to be better than that would be Heenan and Gorilla. But, well, that's not going to happen. That's not yeah, going to happen. You can have that one one day. <laughs> well, that's your beliefs. <laughs> no, or whatever. <laughs> yeah, right. I think they're all dust in the wind by now. All we are is dust in the wind. Will you stop it? Got you where I want you. Got you where I want you. Stop making me sing stupid songs. I mean, really. Why are you singing songs? Come on, AJ. Let's go, AJ. That was a violent collision. Violent collision, Medin said. Sure, he does. Yeah, he, 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 he was educated. He went to school. <laughs> 
Somebody made about the stamina and the endurance factor for AJ Styles, but again, to your point, Corey, you lose all that. To your, your point, Corey. Corey has a point. Also, if AJ Styles can't be the loser in this situation, even harder for Styles to try and escape the clutches of Jinder Mahal. Escape the clutches. I knew we were expecting a big time matchup, but I don't think anyone expected Jinder. Look at this, Styles desperately trying to counter a couple of hooks, drops right to the ribs. Everything right to the ribs. Any opening he can get, Jinder Mahal has capitalized on. Oh, my God. What a tackle by Mahal. And gentlemen, I think right now would be a good opportunity to point out that the new Sunil Singh has not been involved in any way in this match. That's absolutely right. Now, Jinder Mahal, unfamiliar territory here on the second row. Oh. Right above the brow of AJ Styles, who's down now. And very to your point, the one time the Singh brothers are really up to their work in order to attack. Saxon's the one that comes out here week after week and gives all the credit to the Six Brothers. Right now, you cannot deny that Jinder Mahal is a main event player. I can deny anything I fucking want to. Especially if Tom Phillips says it. Oh. You know, you got to add... Add or take away at least a letter grade for a pay-per-view uh, for the crowd. I mean, I think it's I think it's been a good pay-per-view overall, with the matches being well put together, the stories being you know decent. It's had its it's had its moments, right? That weren't good and seemed like they were rushed, but the crowd. If it would have been a lame crowd, I don't know if I'd have liked it as much as I've liked it. Yeah, they popped a lot. It's funny you guys say that because I was thinking that they didn't pop enough. Hmm. Perfect 11 says when they say AJ Styles is so good he could have a match with a broom, this is a point of that. Juan, stop putting your snacks up on the screen. Donuts and pie and cookies and shit. Making Rob hungry. Oh, I've, I've eaten away too much tonight. Actually, but I'll have more of those Pringles. Yeah. <laughs> Their blood? Is that color? Electric chair drop. Yeah, Eleven's right. When people say AJ Styles is so good he can make a, he could he could uh, have a match with a broom and make it look good. This is an example of that. Yeah. I just read that. Did you? It's yeah. true. It's damn true. I don't listen to you. Apparently. Or oh, such a good point. I had to bring it up again. Double G Gaming on our YouTube channel. That's Berto, right? Yeah. Yeah. Or on our on our fake YouTube channel. He says uh, that WWE Network crashed 10 times. 11. Perfect 11. 
A perfect 11 crashes. Fight for your rights. Fight for your life. Dun, 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 dun. dun. Come on, it totally felt like that's what Corey was doing. When it comes crashing down on the heart of the Dun, 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 dun. You gotta take a stand, it don't have to hide. Oh, shit. Damn. I think they should do that. They should go ahead and just give him a. He should do a match with a broom. Like Moppy comes out of retirement and he has a match with Moppy. I'm down. Uh, Book it. He goes like temporarily crazy. He thinks the mop is like really antagonizing him. Come on, Styles Clash right here. Just fucking end this shit. He wants to buy the Panthers. Oh, God. Oh, they ain't my. even for sale yet, motherfucker. Already making guarantees if he were to become the new owner. Really? This posted 35 minutes ago. What is, he, what, is he, what is he guaranteeing? That he'll be the next to have to put it up for sale because of allegations <laughs> of a sexual nature. He says, I will be the best NFL owner. And you can imagine. I'll have the best people. I'll be huge. He would immediately uh, address. Oh, Wait, goodness. is Bruce Pritchard <laughs> buying it or is P. Diddy buying it? <laughs> is he like, is he doing, it's like he's doing a reality TV show, like uh, audition tape. That's what it sounds like. By the and uh, I can do backflips and I can sing Frank Sinatra. That's why I should own the Panthers. Pick me, Simon. Woo! Is, is this is, the match to see if Jinder has ever, ever will get another title shot or run or anything? I don't know. I just Jinder to me seems like it looks like he always has to poop. <laughs> like he's like that point where he's really got to poop and he doesn't know how to keep it from coming out. That's what he feels like, or he, what it looks like. Nobody thought you were gonna win on that. Hey, like kick. No way. Because you're not going to end on that shit. Get off the hair, Dinder. 
Cooper standing by to trip. Oh, Did they oh, let him pull off to the ropes? Russell up Styles. Again, the question is, what can Styles do with it? Blocked by Styles. And now it's into the hole as Flattery. AJ gets to the left. I don't know if Styles has anything left in the tank. Styles could wrestle another half hour easy. What do you mean, last ditch effort? Right. Styles old school. Styles could do a mi an hour match, no problem. Yeah. If they would allow him, SmackDown is the time to do it because of your roster size and stuff. But he should have an Iron Man match at a pay per view that's SmackDown only like next year. Right. There's no reason not to. Rob, what if Vince bought the Panthers? We get a WrestleMania. What Bank of America of? Stadium would get a WrestleMania. <laughs> if Vince bought the Panthers, I'd be totally down for that. He is from North Carolina. Yeah. North Carolina. I mean, at least in football, they do the same play over and over again, so he's okay. Yeah. Not so he wouldn't have to start on this. XFL venture that's going to ultimately fail. What if he um, called a series of plays? Yeah, but I'd be afraid that if Vince got the Panthers, he would want to move it pretty soon. No to way. To Connecticut? Maybe. <laughs> revenge, for, revenge for the uh, the Whalers moving down here and becoming the Hurricanes. I don't know. I'm just he steals maybe. the oh, Panthers yeah, and steals makes the Panthers them the Hartford. the Hartford Panthers. Yeah. Oh. What a weird pin. Yeah. That ref was just holding that. No, it wasn't. What do I got to do? Now, AJ's making gender look good. I'm not saying that gender's like off the charts good. I'm just saying he hasn't looked bad tonight. Eleven says that's the first time he thinks anyone's kicked out of the Coloss. Calf crusher. When he was in 3 and B, he'd already tapped. Oh, he w the match would have been over 15 minutes ago well, in 3 yeah. and B. <laughs> Obviously. He's helping McIntyre come back. He's been training with him. Really? Uh, yeah, past a week or so, two weeks, helping McIntyre get back to where he needs to be. Slowly but surely, of course. But, yeah, Jinder and him have been in the gym. All right. Wow, he's tapping. Wow. He tapped to the calf killer. Crusher. Killer. It's the crusher here. No shock. No. Nah. Well, I don't I don't think there was any shocks of this pay per view either at all. The undercard did a good job of getting their shit done. But I no I mean, right? Anything shock you, Rob? No. And they're fifteen minutes early. Yeah. Why? Is that they're ending fifteen minutes early with introing the lumber jills. You could have added a match. Right? Right. You got fifteen whole minutes. You could have added something. You could have made that tag match an elimination. I know Medine, you were in favor of that option. Yeah, I was. Um I th felt like now when we look at it in an overview 
that brings the grade of the pay-per-view down. If you're doing it match by match, no. Going match by match, you're like, oh yeah, there was some quality matches. But when you look at the pay-per-view as a whole, that brings it down. The crowd was, yeah, the proud crowd was pretty good. But then you're saying, all right, so what was the consequence here? Or, right. Or, if any, none really. So guys, Maybe. we're going to get ready to do a podcast yeah. in a second. The board is saying, uh, Perfect Eleven specifically said Ziggler was shocking. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, yes, yeah, that yeah. was. I forget. Yeah, yes, yeah, that yeah, was. Yeah, yeah, I guess, yeah. but that was the opening match, so we've forgotten how shocking it's it like was. Three, yeah, it was like three hours ago. Yeah. Well, let's see so, if they're going to do anything else after this. Like, they're going to have a yeah. Shane. Uh, uh, I, something. No. Yeah. This, this feels like a weird ending. Sing Brothers, nobody attacks him, no no intro music of a new contender. I haven't seen the logo come up yet. Something's missing though. We can all agree. We're so no, we're so used to see, so used to seeing something like that happen. There it is. That we're like, wait, what's going on? All well, right. So here's it. what's gonna happen, guys. We're gonna put up the uh we're gonna put up our streaming soon banner. We're gonna change positions. And then uh, we're going to do a podcast. So thanks for hanging out for the uh, live reaction portion. Go get a drink, a piss, or whatever you do. Take five. We'll be right back. Yep.
No experts, no insiders, just fans. Transmission for Mark Dub Wrestling Podcast begins in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. The following program is a recorded studio of the production. No experts, no insiders, just fans. Welcome to our Smartdown Reaction Show. You're listening to the Marked Out Wrestling Podcast. My name is Adam Baum. I am the Jew that leads the crew. We welcome everybody back that was streaming live with us for our little uh, reaction as we watch show. We're going to go through the card match by match, kind of grade by grade. Joining me for this adventure is Rody Rob. What's up, buddy? How are you doing? I'm here. You're here? I'm here. All right. That's it. I'm a... Uh, I'm here. I'm a steer uh, in to the rear. Sure. March. Medine is also here. What's up, buddy? Good evening, sir. I am salty like Wisconsin cheese. Salty? You should be because my Panthers took it, took your little uh, cheese heads out today. Indeed. And, uh, Indeed. Where's Stevie to back me up? He He's not even showing his face around today. Yeah, you, Stevie's MIA. Uh, Brian, of course, uh, is recovering from surgery. And who else is with us, Rob? Uh, looks like Teddy Hart's here. He uh, he fell asleep during our live reaction show we had on YouTube Live and on Twi uh, Twitch. Uh, Juan's fat ass is here. Perfect Eleven is on the board. Uh, Justin Reside is on the Twitch board. We got Berto, Double G Gaming, Juan on uh, YouTube. Um, so yeah, that's what we got going on right now so far. No Noah. Yeah, surprising, a, surprisingly, no Noah. Uh, it's a day, a day 15 of, uh, we need to do an Amber Alert for Noah? Maybe. Yeah. Uh, Joker was here earlier also, yeah. and uh, so was Stike Leather. They had to go to bed. Uh, Teddy, thankfully, woke up in time to participate. He said so, he smoked a dab and fell asleep. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not surprised. Yeah. I'm not surprised. Uh, let's get started with the pre-show. The pre-show match, uh, Mojo Rawley and Zack Ryder. I felt like the way, and I know I'm getting ahead of myself. The pre-show for what? I mean, it's going to be on a podcast. What are we talking about? Oh, the pre-show of Clash of Champions. Oh, okay. Here. Thank you. Yeah, fuck face. Yeah. Uh, I feel like they could have done Brizongo and Bludgeon Brothers at the beginning here because this was, to me, a pay-per-view quality match. It deserved more than the pre-show yeah. and Zack Ryder and Mojo Rawley. And it was a tag team that had been together for a year breaking up. Yeah, I, I understand that they're trying to hype up the new tag team, you know, spotlight the new tag team, whatever. But, yeah, reverse that on the card. Mojo and, and uh, Zach was a fantastic match. Uh, it put Mojo over well. And to have that on a pre-show, I think, is just it's insulting. And Zach didn't look bad. No. My biggest knock on the match was Mojo Rawley's theme music. Oh, his whole entrance was garbage. That track star pretend football run. Yeah, and he, and he looked winded before he even got to the ring. Like Ultimate Warrior, just blowing himself up yeah. before the match. Yeah, yeah, it made no sense. Uh, the the other thing do do we think this is the end of it? Do we think Zack Ryder gets a revenge? Do they turn this into a best of? No, series? this is. You remember when uh uh what was the Medine, uh, prime time players when they split up? You know, you thought it was going to be a whole series between the two, and same thing with the Rockers and Marty Jannetty. I mean, there wasn't much of an aftershock to it. There was a we broke up. I screwed you over. We have our match, and then we move on. And yeah, I th I'm going to go on to be a main the, eventer and future Hall of Famer. The right. difference, though, there is Zack Ryder is much higher caliber than either Marty Jannetty or the other tag team partner that you named that I can't remember right now. But he Titus at least up, yeah. yeah he at least can go on forward and continue to have a career while Mojo can coexist doing his own thing. I honestly think in the long run Zack Ryder is still going to come out the best of it. Oh, and, and that's fine. I'm just saying as far as this situation between these two go, is there a reason to go any like with the other examples I gave? Were there reasons to go further in in the in the feud? No, not really. The only thing I can think of is in Enzo the and Cass went forever. In the coming weeks between now and Rumble, they could have a match yes, to qualify. Absolutely. And no Mojo wins the match, so Mojo gets a spot in the Rumble and Zach's out. 
Yeah. I could see that playing a factor or something. You got to stop giving them ideas, bro. You just like... like spoon- you don't like that idea? No, no, no. I, I love the idea. The problem is you're just spoon feeding them ideas because all they're going to do is listen to the podcast and be like, oh my God, we're out of ideas. It's Friday. What are we going to do? Hey, did you listen to Smart Down? Oh yeah. Did you hear that idea that Adam Bob had? Oh, that was great. Use that one. What did you... What do you... What Berto was- says they had two or three, four out of five uh, or higher star rated matches in 93. He's talking about Janetti and Michaels. Oh. Did they? I mean, okay, fine. I'm not really saying that they didn't. But it was have, it was, it was quick. prolonged. It was on quick, te- right? On television, right? Because they, we didn't have the exposure that we have to it now. It was quick on television. Yeah. It, well, we're also talking about Clash of Champions. But it was. Not, he's right. It was stretched out. <laughs> 1993. Yeah. It, I mean, what, it, what would your grade be, Rob, for that match Mojo? for Mojo and Zach? Oh, I give it. I I give it a solid A. I mean, it was. Great sells, great protection, great, uh, just uh, good shine. Mojo had his moments. Zach had his moments. Uh, the good aggression. Uh, I believed that Mojo, uh, was the bad guy. I believe that Zach felt like he had been stabbed in the back and he was angry and bitter. I I believed this match. I believed the story in it. It was uh, it was an A for me. It, it was a uh, probably an A minus A for me. What made it an A for sure was putting it on the pre-show. As far as pre-show matches go, this was probably one of the best I've seen all year. Medine, you didn't get to see this match, so you can't give it a grade. I wish I had seen this match, but the one thing I will say about the placement of the match, with how good you guys say it was, maybe that's why they put it first, to warm the crowd up, the people who were there, to get them into the mode like, hey, you you might not be expecting much from this pay-per-view, but hey, we'll throw this out there. Great match, and then it continued into the next match. Yeah. Well, and I don't want to get a, get ahead of ourselves, but that's the pattern of tonight. Is it started off really strong? Yeah. Uh, one one thing they're talking about. We were talking about uh, Kevin, uh, not Kevin, Scott Hall showing up drunk at a signing and getting into it with Kevin uh, King uh, Kong the Bundy. King Kong Bundy. He and Scott Hall was drunk. Got there. Well, first of all, it was late. Hey, I've just mentioned it as a quick point here. Okay, and, and Teddy, because yeah. Teddy on the board also mentioned that uh, Just Incredible showed up at an indie show drunk. Him too. So that happened. Start of the actual pay-per-view, pre-show's over. We got the triple threat. Baron Corbin, Dolph Ziggler, Bobby Roode. It's rare that a triple threat actually does well with all three competitors. I thought they all looked good tonight. Oh, they they all looked fantastic. And, and, and I told you this when the match ended. Dolph was a shock. And Dolph got the, the win. The win was the shock. But yeah. the match was Bobby's match. This match was designed to highlight Bobby, to put him over, to move him on and up. Talk about the Boston crowd loving him. Yeah. Every point. And I was loving I mean, he was – dude, he's a master of the cell. His cells in that match were if you were, if you were a, a new wrestler starting out in some little school somewhere hoping to get on an indie promotion or whatever the case may be and you want to learn how to sell – you watch Bobby Roode. Yeah. And the the big deal is I thought Baron was going to steal the pin, and instead Dolph does, which is very weird. As Medine's pointed out a few times, he just re-signed a month ago, but he still hasn't been very happy. But I I thought this match did a really good job uh, of showcasing all three. It yeah. proved that WWE has the know-how to do this. Yeah. Why can't they do it more frequently? And it gave him a step forward in – terms of trying to make him happy because he's like i said one month into a contract that's in a year that he says may maybe after this year i might want to leave hey all right you're unhappy we'll give you a u.s title run you really can't say that they didn't give him some kind of push during that 12 months we might not remember this 10 months from now and this has got to be his like eighth or ninth mid card oh yeah he's, and again he's, he's up there between this, the two these are mark we're, we're marks talking here so i mean in reality i mean he could probably not give a shit one way or the other about belts or runs or pushes or you know that could just be all kind of the character of his, the persona of his character he might be like fuck it pay me i'll do whatever you want me to fucking do i don't i don't care like not like to, many of them are well not to right. mention he's gonna take that belt now and put one of those two guys over rude more than likely yeah but yeah but cesaro could go anywhere and be a star he's taking the paycheck and he's happy with it he's fine yeah you know i, I, I just I, I did mention real quick i did mention uh during it you know that we always shit on Corbin, which deservedly so. But kudos to him. Uh, There's some moments in that match where you know he looked really good. One, he had some great sells too. But a very obvious moment I pointed out when we watched <coughs> is that he uh, 
<clears throat> he protected. Yeah, he protected uh, Ziggler on that turnbuckle uh, or that power bomb suplex from the turnbuckle. Ziggler was going down for the hard bump. He pulled Ziggler in so that he could land on his shoulders. So uh, good job protecting your, uh, your your coworker there. Berno right. says triple threat was a decent match. Good start. They followed the traditional three way match until Corman almost got the steal. Great ending and perfect 11 agrees with you, Rob. He said it was the best Baron Corbin match he's seen yet. Yeah. Ziggler winning was a great shock, don't you think, though, Medine? It was a great shock, especially we got to see the two finishers in, in one. It was done quickly and seamlessly. It, it, it didn't look botched or anything. It, it was perfectly executed. I, I hope Bobby gets the win at Rumble. I think if there was any doubt, the crowd pop tonight gave it to him. My match grade is another A. I thought it showcased three competitors very, very well. They even made Baron look a little monster-like, you know, because of the way they they doubled up on him. I'm going with an A. Rob, you? Um, yeah. I mean, I I would say an an easy A here. Uh, it's a overall outstanding match. Great performance. Great sells. Great everything. It, great psychology. Uh, I give it an A. I give it a three point five four stars. I whatever you want to give it. Yeah, sure. Medine, what's your grade? I'm going A as well. Uh, on the board, uh, DJ Caution, he says, I enjoyed the triple threat. I'll say Baron Corbin best match for sure. Yeah, and absolutely. I agree. And Justin, yeah. <laughs> Justin, you like this one, Rob. He says, Corbin is better than Jason Boredom. Everybody's better than Jason Boredom. Yeah, he proved that You know, You know who else is better than Jason Boredom? Who else? I'm sure we'll get there in a minute, but his tag team partner who showed his fucking ass tonight. Or his former tag team partner, oh. the one that got left uh, like Great dust segue. in the wind. That is a good segue. We're going to go into the tag match. It was a clusterfuck at the beginning, having four people in there and four tags and only one ref for this one. We'll get two refs later, but we only get one for this fucking match of chaos. And it turned a little bit into spot fest, but the one spot that we all remember is Chad fucking Gable. He even got Big E up on that. With those, those rollover uh, Germans? Oh, my goodness. I don't, and, know, I don't know what they're really called. Rollover holding German? I, I don't I, know. But I don't know what the hell you'd call it either, but getting everybody up that way and then getting Big E as the crescendo? Yeah. Good for you, sir. Yeah, I, I want to thank trying to figure out how he... I mean, he's, a, he's a small, powerful guy. All right, no, no hate there. But you got to think that the roll-up he does first adds the momentum to be able to get those big boys over for like that. For sure. Yeah, I, it, but it was... He, the way he landed Aiden English on the back of his fucking neck. Oh. Actually, it looked that way because the way he, he got hit. him over too much he got, because Aiden yeah. was so light. But I think he was on. I think Aiden got a good bump there on his shoulders, but Aiden it, just, flew it, it appeared. It appeared that he hit his neck from the uneducated, uneducated eye, right? Yeah. But, dude, and he took the shit. Aiden English, dude, I know we're, we're all over uh, Gable's dick right now over his Germans, but. Let's give some love first and foremost to Rusev, Rusev, and, and, absolutely, and Aiden English. I he, mean, they have a wow. weird. I think they were intended as a heel, and they're just getting so fucking over. Uh, DJ Caution is actually Matthew Salvetti. Oh, very cool. Um, and uh, that's a friend of Brian's. Uh, Brian, hope you're listening. If you're not drugged out, Berto says a year ago Chad and Jordan lost their tag titles to Wyatt and Orton. I remember that. Yeah, that's a big deal. Um, and then just. You know, the tag match was a bocce start, Berto says, and I agree with that. It, it would it, have been cool to see Rusev win, but the crowd, again, just like in the Bobby sense, was behind Aiden English and Rusev. Yeah. They got the biggest pop of the four. Now, again, remember, we're talking about Boston. I mean, Greenville, South Carolina, maybe a little different. Green Bay, Wisconsin, maybe a little different. You know, Chicago, Philly, Boston, you know, those are... It was Boston, just special places. Boston was united, though, in who they picked in each match. They were. There was a clear, this is who we're cheering. This is Bobby's moment. This is Mojo's moment. Or, no, Mojo got the booze, but he got heel booze. Yes, uh, which and, is good. But th this match. Even uh, Baron got some heel booze. Yeah, yeah, he did. And and, and uh, I got to say, for Berto, I got to echo, the tag match was botchy to start, like you just said, but it ended well. And it ended well. I think about halfway through, they got their shit together. Yeah, the chaos broke down into where we could actually see some wrestling. Right. Because you couldn't even get a camera angle in there with four corner tag teams. Medine, what was your thoughts on this? You've been awfully quiet. You said this was going to be your match of the night, was it? Uh, no, it, it no. couldn't have been. I know you better than that. No, it, it it disappointed because of the rules or the lack thereof. Yeah. Um, a little more order. We described earlier or said something about elimination would have been great. Yeah. 
Something. Um, Anything but this. Right, something a little more consequential. Well, and no DQ. Rob kept pointing it out on our live show. No DQ, then why do you even have to worry about a tag? Right. So there was like the rule was no rule or one rule. It should have been a four-way tornado tag uh, chaos. Hey, get back. Get out. You didn't tag. Well, uh, what are you going to do about it? I'm going to disqualify you. No, you're not. It's a no disqualification. And for that matter, why wasn't Xavier? (laughs) Yeah, Xavier could have been involved. It could have been an extra number for them. For sure. I I mean, he couldn't get the pin legally, but he could be involved. This is a classic Vince McMahon. Here's an idea to try. Well, okay, how do we do it? Well, just figure it out. But would it, but it's impossible. Well, just figure it out. So we don't want to plan this and figure it out? Nope. Just figure it out. All right. Match grade then, Rob. Honestly, I'm going to give it a C. Really? Yeah. I I thought the ending the ending was it was good, but it was inconsequential. Okay. That's yeah, fair. You know, uh, besides, with the exception of the Chad Gable spots and the, the Rusev moments and, and, and Aiden English, not very memorable. I'm not going to remember this match in a year from now unless you say, remember that time uh, Rusev Day and Aiden English and the 12 Days of Christmas? Oh, yeah, I remember that now. You remember Chad Gable's Germans? Yeah, I remember that. But the rest of this match, I'm, I'm not going to remember any of it. Forgettable. I agree. Yeah. Medine, what's your grade? Well, that's the reason why I gave this a B. Those really? reasons that he named. So I there was at least a couple of memorable moments? Oh, yeah. The, those were the memorable moments enough to elevate this match higher than an average match. Memorable, it wasn't. But- an average match. Memorable, but memorable in the sense that somebody would have to come back and remind you, and you go, oh, yeah, I remember that. Not that you, not like shit that, you know, Hogan's Hill turn where you're going to remember it for 20 years from now and you'll bring it up without prompting. You know, I, I'm not going to remember Chad Gable's Germans unless you say, hey, you remember Chad Gable's Germans? That might be the, you know what? It oh. might be the only thing that we remember him for because right now he, he's kind of doing a, uh, treadmill running run the mud yeah, yeah. he's he's stuck with well and, Gable. and benjamin's I mean, not doing me. anything yeah stuck with benjamin uh on the board oh. perfect 11 gives it a b rob you gave it a c and so did justin i'm kind of stuck in the middle i think i would give it like a b minus except the concept was so flawed that i bump it down to a c yeah the whole concept was just lost on it for you know me. everything we said too and i'm almost considering i'm on the verge of a d as in dog uh to, and my, my reason why I'm kind of teetering towards a D is the Usos, 90% of their offense was about 30 fucking super kicks. Yeah, all I, of it seemed like. I I it just I get there was a one spot moment, but it, it was too much. It was like, okay. It's part of their repertoire now, I, it yeah, seems. I know. And when you have eight people, there was too many of what we call the heroin spots. A lot of people just oh sure taken out by nothing. I like super kicks as much as the next guy when they're done right. <laughs> But when they're done right, yeah. But come on, wrestlers, indie and WWE like, can, can we just can we pull back on the suicide dives and the super kicks? Can we have less of them? I mean, really, can we can we get back to professional wrestling? Can we can I get some headlocks and some slams and some power bombs? And can I can I get some wrestling, please? Dive. Berto says hashtag bit. done with the super kick, Dive. Yeah, and dude, they yeah. should have done a championship scramble tag title match. Now that would have been a clusterfuck. I wouldn't have minded like a gauntlet or elimination. It it felt weird to have everybody out there together. When's the last time you saw a double axe handle? Hmm. I don't know. Exactly. Macho man. <laughs> right. Maybe. Can I get can we get some fucking re- some wrestling and wrestling pro wrestling moves? And um, and and these dive out of the ring spots. The suicide dives. Yeah, they're, they're so mm. everyone does them and either you're fast and it's okay, but it's still clunky. It's like, "Oh, I'm just going to jump out and push into you and it's going to be kind of weird looking." But you'll fall, and then people will go, yay, he jumped. And that barren spot with the superplex and the triple threat, it, it you see it every other pay-per-view. That spot with the table that KO and Sammy did, you see it every pay-per-view. Uh, you know, the, you got to spice it up. Going back to old school, just simple Luthez press, double axe handle, standing drop kicks. Some submission holds. Something. Sleeper holds. Uh, I'm there with you. We're going to go on to this one. Because it's next on the card. It's the women's match. Now, we ended, and I'm going to use this as as my platform. We ended 15 minutes before the three-hour mark. Okay? We're not paying for it anymore. It's on the network, so no surprise there. Right. But they introed music and all, every one of the Lumberjills. And after the match, they had a long-ass bullshit with Natty and her fake crying. Oh, God. What? 
for me, that kind of took away a little bit from the match. The match was, yeah. as far as Natty and Charlotte goes, was probably a, a really low. It on was the, n- not even close to their best. <laughs> Medine, this is your queen. She retained. What do you think? As far as the cells, yeah, she did a good job there. This was a different match than I've seen from them because I've seen quite a few here over the past couple months. Um, It was first the two submissions, uh, by the way, for titles tonight. Yeah, but I don't know. The Lumberjills didn't do it for me. The the, uh, I don't know. What about Carmella not cashing in? Teddy on the board wants to know. This wasn't the situation for it. Once you saw that. We got the tease, which was good enough. Yeah, she just crawled in there for like two seconds. Yeah, that's all I wanted to tease. To me, this sell is going to be that the Raw brand has got to win the women's Royal Rumble yep. because then you set up the briefcase is still playing out over there, but the women's Royal Rumble on Raw winner we should don't, go on to face We it. don't know if it's happening yet. I it's it's I know we don't, okay, yeah. but all signs point to yes. All right. Don't you think? I, 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 don't, I really do not, I do not feel confident about saying it's going to happen. I do not like green eggs and ham. I do not like them, Adam. I am. <laughs> All right. Uh, my, you know, my match grade, I don't, I don't necessarily think this needs to be talked about much. My match grade is a C. It, it existed as a lumberjack match to have them all week on the sides and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, Teddy says Ronda will win if it's uh, a Royal Rumble for the women. No. That's not a bad booking. I guess she would be the yes, reason. Uh, yeah, I, I think it's a bad booking. And and Justin reminds us, you have a year to cash in your briefcase, so she has all the way to Money in the Bank. Sure. So she could even wait till Mania yeah. and try and steal her spotlight then. That's, I didn't want her to, to, to cash in tonight or to fail at it. I I wanted a tease because we haven't had a good tease in a little bit. It wasn't a good tease, but we got one. But it was a tease. You're right. You know, I, I wasn't like... Oh shit! She's doing her. Oh shit! I was like, oh look, oh 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 oh. Okay, never mind. Sneaking in the back door. But I, I dude, I gotta give this match. Uh, I'm gonna give it a D, a D, and, and and it's a it's a friendly D, right? This is not me necessarily shitting on the pay per view. I like the pay per view. This match was good, but I'm giving this a D for specific reasons. Why couldn't they put a second women's match on this card? I don't know. But so my D here is that one, these girls can go. Can. Can they, they? They've gone. They, they had, didn't tonight. They've had multiple matches where they can go, and they didn't let them go tonight. Number two, this match is more about, in my opinion, was more about Naomi than anything else. Naomi and, and Ruby Riot than anything else, honestly. And, and, and three, here's why I go from a C to a D, because I don't know in what fucking world the sharpshooter is one person bends forward while standing almost upright, and the other one has its legs just extended, and like, oh, that's hurting, putting pressure on her back. In what world, why is this, the sharpshooter in the Boston Crab now, why are they done so incorrectly now? Why don't people sit into them? Put some pressure down on them. I know you don't want to hurt your opponent. I get that. It you looked pro- like a reverse wheelbarrow. Yeah, it was horrible. I, I get you want to protect your, your opponent. I mean, it's your coworker. I, I get that. That's your job, to, to keep them safe. But you can't tell me that in 30 years of wrestling beforehand, when people actually sat... I mean, Jericho is guilty of this, too. When people actually sat into a Boston Crab, sat into Well, and I also Scorpion remember where, where Jericho used to do... It was Walls of Jericho. It was not a sharpshooter. Well, he couldn't or, do it on everybody, but... But, yeah, yeah, when he would actually bend and put his, like, his, I don't know, knee or calf in the guy's back of his head, like, that was the real fucking one. Manin, uh... What would your grade be on this shit? And then I'll go to the board. I had to go with a D plus, no, C minus in that range. Okay. No explanation why you guys covered that. Yeah, and can, can we can we just real quick? Oh, right. real, real, real quick. I just want to address what happened at the end of the match. Yeah, is uh, Nat, did Natty call it quits? I, I don't know. I mean, obviously, it's you got to know it's kayfabe, right? I know there sometimes they're pretty good at, at, at kind of tr- fooling us on that. But you got to know it's kayfabe. Natty's not the kind to improvise and go off script like that because she's a good little girl that does what she's told, and she's not going to rock the boat. Right. You know, kind of, I'm not going to get in trouble with the boss. Uh, so, obviously, kayfabe, but, I mean, tr- truth and truth and humor, right? Right. I, I, I just, what the fake tears, I'm sorry, the no tears. The she couldn't f- get them. She couldn't get them. 
It, it was like it was. You, like, you compared it to Ben Stiller and Tropic Thunder. Yeah, it's just horrible. I can't cry. Perfect Eleven says, "See, the lumberjacks were a distraction, and they didn't add anything to the conflict between Natty and Charlotte." I agree with that point. Yeah. Uh, D for Dick is what Teddy says. D, it was the riot in Naomi's show. Right, is what Justin yeah. said. And uh, Berto wants to point out that other move uh, was the lion tamer. Yeah, is the difference. Um, and can we finally stop saying that Natty versus Charlotte will be a good match? They haven't had a good match since their NXT match in 2014. No, I, w- I just they had another that. good one. They've and, had, they've but, had good but also matches. Berto adds he watches the pay per views an hour late so he can skip skip matches, and this was one that he skipped. Yeah, and uh, it was co- he it- said though last year to point out about our old school Rob. Sasha versus Charlotte last year, the Iron Man match. The beginning was boring because it was old school wrestling, and then they build up at the end, and he liked it. That's a good point. When you the old school wrestling is there to tell the fucking story. Yeah. Okay, that's the point. Work the leg. We saw that. We'll talk about it later on. But like working a body part, selling whatever you're trying to do, build that story about how this is how you have to defeat him. You can't just go with a a finisher constantly, and that's how you're going to win. You have to work the yeah. match, work your opponent. And, and I'm not sure of uh, uh, Berto's context here, but yeah, I know we, we know he's called the Lion Tamer, but I'm not talking about when he does the Lion Tamer. I'm talking about when he does the Boston Crab, but he's almost standing up and not sitting into the, you know, not putting yeah. the pressure on the back. Make it believable for me. At least at the beginning, I understand that they let up when the when the guy on the bottom is going to crawl to the ropes. Right. I get that because you have to allow him to crawl to the rope. Right. But sell it at first. Yeah. Sell it before he makes that crawl. Yeah. Um, it's one of the few things Randy, your boy, the Dean, does well is to get out of that, to do the slow crawl of any kind of move like that, sharpshooter or whatever. Let's see Slithering, that's why. Oh, is oh. that what it is? Yes. Slithering. Is he in Slytherin? All right. This one's going to go quick. We got the Bludgeon Brothers. Bludgeon Brothers. Brothers. Breaking. I like breaking and hammers. It lasted about three minutes. That was our over-under anyway. Yep. What, uh, Brizongo, this was a storyline that was built for months. For months. To end this way with Brizongo not even getting a showing. This I'm dumb. What are they doing? I mean, are they just going to be relegated to comedy bit? This was also the perfect time, in my opinion, for the Ascension to come out and try and help them and make that match go longer. Oh yeah, they should have done that. They're their best friends. Oh, that's it's very it's very yeah. Total missed opportunity. Ho- hopefully they save that, Adam, and maybe stretch this to where it continues with fashion files. How can you stretch this? They they can. It was almost they, a it's squash. Wrestling. Oh, Look, God no. No, 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 it's wrestling. Look, can, Blood, Bludgeon Brothers have been around for a couple of weeks and they're already a failed experiment. Just stop. They Just are. Stop. Just stop. Just stop. The, man. the the odd thing is at the house shows they're well received on television, not so much. Yeah. Well, the other thing that's very weird is their promos. This is the end of the beginning and the beginning of the end, and it's just like really they go back and forth. We yeah. are ready. One, two, three. The Bludgeon Brothers. Yeah, they got to count down. They got to say everything together. They are the most scripted promos I've ever heard, and they're the most simple. I've heard and read a bunch of articles that Eric Rowan is actually really smart so yeah it, so it shocks me that they, they make him, him seem so dumb yeah why not give some kind of character and emotion and your own verbiage if you will in his promos the guy can do better than that yep i'm going with uh fuck i don't even care c i'll just throw a c out there incomplete i i incomplete for rob what do you got Medine? i went with f because it i felt like it killed the storyline and uh, the F for Febreze, they deserved better. Well, and also they made they made us laugh for months over stupid shit. They took our they took the funny shows that we watch or the shows that we enjoy, yeah. and parodied the them one so I'm well. Representing Stranger Things, they yeah. did that one time. They, they sure are. I mean, so yeah, I wish they had gotten a better deal. Uh, they got a raw deal. Is what I'm trying to say. Yeah, Teddy says F. Uh, Perfect Eleven says D. So disappointed. I feel like they ruined everything Brizongo did during the past several months to get yep. themselves over. Just to put a team that feels so fabricated and forced over. I mean, it's true. Yeah. There, there's no question that the Bludgeon Brothers are just going to run through the division and kill any momentum and storyline that has been built up. They, they've done a decent job. Every time we think the tag division is going to go nowhere, they've done a decent job to make us care at least a little. But in my opinion, guys, here is back-to-back matches. We started off hot. 
Mojo and Zack, we started off with a great triple threat. And the ending in the middle, there were parts of the tag. And then the women, and then this. And now we segue to two referee clusterfuck. What's going to happen? Oh, Sami Zayn's been booked on stuff for the future, so he's not getting fired. But let's play this out anyway. Very quickly, we had the refs trying to count the same fucking pin. Randy with his new hair. Sorry, I had to get it up. Yeah, Randy with his new hair. We had them trying to count the pin, dividing the ring in half over who counts what, fighting about that. Is this how Daniel Bryan returns to the ring with such a lackluster storyline around it? I don't mind the storyline with Daniel and Shane, but I don't like is the fact that they started out at an awesome storyline between KO and Shane involving Vince. And this is where it's trailed to. And now it's going to trail off. And they did a good job of extending it beyond Hell in a Cell by adding Sammy into it. But this was, between this and Survivor Series, this is where you go with it. Look, and, and now Daniel Bryan's going to take your heat, or he's joining KO Sammy? Well, I that, don't understand. That was my question during the live reaction was, is this the end? Is it the end of Shane and KO and the beginning of, of Shane and, and Daniel? Are we done with Shane and KO? No, I don't. I think this is just adding to the opposition for Shane. All right, Shane has got to put himself together a squad to go against these guys. This is in a, some fashion. This is the third or fourth interaction between Shane and KO. This is usually the time when they end the program, Dean. I think Rumble ends it. They are not going to have them go head to head again. There's got to be some type of foil to the side to make it interesting. Again, I suggested Randy pick Shane so that they could finally end it here tonight. But instead, with this fast pin, maybe they shifted over to Daniel Bryan? Well, and this feels very like the Mick Foley storyline. I thought it was odd, though, how a couple of weeks ago, or well, excuse me, about a month or so ago, two months, whenever that pay-per-view was, we were so shocked that, that Sammy would do that to Shane. Not, not do that. Kayfabe-wise, we were like, oh, my God, you know. But he was getting the the boos then, and now he's getting the cheers. Now all of a sudden, Shane is the heel. Yep, Berto says uh, this is how Brian's going to get fired. Teddy says Shane and Brian at WrestleMania. Rob, would you want that? Would you want Daniel Bryan's return to the ring to be against Shane and not against somebody new like Knock or something I, like I that? I would. I would be down for Sammy and and Daniel. Yeah, Sammy and Daniel, KO and yeah, Daniel. Sh- Shane is involved. In too many big moments, I, is he is he the top talent on SmackDown? Is no. that what it is? No, he's it's not Mc, even the top he's, draw. He's McMahon. Then, then why does he get all the? That's m- why he's a McMahon. Yep. He, but it, but it, he's not, but he's not a draw. Let's just be fair. Shane McMahon in anything is no. not a draw. I'm saying a, a big moment. You know, okay, big moment. Hell in a cell. He gets the big moment. The only McMahon that's a draw anymore is Triple H, and that that's even kind of fading because he just inserts himself when he wants to. Uh, Justin says B minus too much of a clusterfuck. It was, it was in the, in the referee build, the, the whole thing, we knew where it was going to end. It ended the way it did a quick count from Daniel Bryan it w- I, was Nakamura in the match and Nakamura was not showcased at all. Randy Her- wasn't even showcased heroin drips for Nakamura for sure. right? Oh yeah. The, the match was not good for the four competitors that were in there. The referees took a lot away. I would have been fine with the referees doing whatever the fuck they wanted to do. Let the match fucking happen and mature first. And then you can have the refs start breaking down and fighting. What about Berto's uh, kind of idea here? Brian gets fired. Maybe this is the end of him. Maybe this is when he goes to Ring of Honor and goes and maybe the end of his contract. Or he gets fired as the GM and comes back at the Royal Rumble yeah, I'm just as, saying, a, as a wrestler. Looking at alternate ideas here. I mean, there, there is I'd more than... i to see Daniel Bryan win the Rumble. Yeah, there is more than just a, a Shane-Daniel well, program. Think about it. If he gets be. fired and then wins the Rumble, he's guaranteed a title shot at Mania. Daniel fucking Bryan against AJ Styles. Once again at... Wow. In New Orleans, too. Wow. Now, I would fucking one. love that. It's not going to happen, Medine, because I love it so much. Um, but Teddy wants to argue your point about why Shane gets all the good matches. It's because he came from Vince's dick. That's uh, why. Yeah. I, yeah. I said that. Yeah. He's yeah. the fastest swimmer. I don't agree. I don't disagree. Yeah. So uh, match grade then, Rob. Um, C-, C minus at best. We started off with two A's and we're just going downhill. I'm a C minus as well. Medine. 
I give it a C. A C? It was what it was. It was what it, we thought it would be, you know? Yeah. They are who we thought they were. Whatever the fuck that cliche I didn't, is. I didn't hate the storyline with Daniel and, and, uh, and Shane. I just don't like it. Well, you're also, and I'm with you in this camp, you're also because they just have pushed this McMahon, Kevin Owens feud to the background. Yeah. That's a huge pop for KO that they're not taking advantage of. Yeah. Plain they, and simple. They've highlighted Sammy in it. They use this to kind of bury knock. <laughs> it's whatever. Yes, Mania part two. That's not happening, Justin says. And Teddy gave it a B. Teddy, you were asleep. I don't even know how you can comment on this shit. My Teddy, um, Teddy thinks he's watching curling. <laughs> main event. Main event time. Uh, yes, Daniel Bryan was the guy who should have won the Rumble and never did. They put Batista over that year. Stupid. Jericho in 2012, and last year is a close second of the Rumble winner that should have been. Yes, it's true. It's damn true. The main event, AJ, Broomstick. I mean, Jinder Mahal. <laughs> AJ could carry anyone. He worked the match the whole time. Uh, B minus, by the way, for Perfect 11 on the last match. AJ is great. Did Jinder do anything to save his stock? Is he mid-card bound? Um... I don't know what – I mean, A.J. made him look good. Gender looked good tonight, and I don't know if it was all A.J. making him look good or if it's – he been – maybe him and A.J. have been working on this for a while. I, I don't know what it was, but I don't know where gender fits outside of the title picture now. I don't see him fitting in the U.S. title belt. I don't see him fitting in a regular program with somebody. I, I just don't know what you do with him now. You don't need to have him be a fighting champion when he was champion, but you had to get him to wrestle. And he was not wrestling on TV. He cut promos the whole Nakamura feud, and he barely wrestled. It was duck and dodge with Randy Orton. If he had wrestled, I think people would be buying into him more. If he had wrestled, sure, but he didn't. And going forward, if he doesn't stay in the program by getting over on mid-carters, he's going to fade away. I don't think he's going to get over well, he's he's got to. They can't. And, uh, I think they put who, him on the decline. Who would be and, his next rivalry? Well, that's the right. thing. They're going to put him on the decline, and they're going to see if he can last. And he won't be able to last. It's uh, it's very simple. This is what they usually do with somebody: see if they can last this, without that. This is going to be Jack Swagger. Uh, but how credible? All together, then all again. Is his uh, six month title reign then? You look back at it, and you're like, what? Well, he, he had, like I said, he didn't wrestle very yeah, much during that time. You're right. I mean, he, to, to my point, though, I mean, Jack Swagger, how credible was he, he, him as a, right. the world champion? Too. Yeah, but Jack Swagger is a different story. He held the belt for a month, and they tried to make him the second coming of Kurt Angle, and it didn't work. Still, yeah. You know, he, yeah, you had an ankle lock, lock, big fucking deal. AJ Styles is the champ. He's going to continue to be the champ, Good. I think, all the way to Mania, I hope. Yeah. I hope. Because this guy is... Everything we've always said he was. He single-handedly, and I've said this before, he took on WWE by bringing TNA to Promised Land. Until they got all these legends and brought back and tried to recycle WCW, AJ was making some waves in right. a promotion that had no business making any waves. Yeah, and, and he, he took NJPW by storm. Yeah. And Teddy says AJ needs a headline WrestleMania. Uh, none of us disagree with that. No, none at all. I'd love AJ Styles to close out the show. I, I was salivating at the thought of AJ Styles and Daniel Bryan, that whole Medine thing about him winning the Rumble. Yeah. My match grade here, I'm going to give it a B plus, A minus range, simply because AJ, he he carried it. He did what he's supposed to on every count. What do you got, Rob? Um, no, nah, I give it a, I give it a straight A plus. I mean, I, I don't know what more you could say. AJ is phenomenal he's a great sell he's a great worker he makes people look great he gender performed so gender and, and baron and, both are getting their match of the you know yeah. careers tonight and and we had a good let's not forget we had a good match between these two and there was no sing brother involvement no not really so i think but, that's i think that's that's something to be said that you didn't have to have all the extra gimmick shit AJ popped on him once each. Yeah, AJ doesn't need gimmick matches. He doesn't, no matter who his opponent. 
He just needs to have a match. I give it an A plus. Berto being negative says Jinder's out of the company within the next two years. Medine, what's your grade on this one? I agree with him. I gave him a B plus. Um, not that wasn't a slight on him in any stretch of the imagination. I just thought that uh, it was interesting that we didn't get to see a phenomenal forearm tonight. That was a little. Uh. Just, he didn't do much of. Uh, any top rope moves, actually. The 450 didn't come out either. Yeah, maybe that's why he's so good at, at, at making people look good because he knows what he shouldn't do against people. Well, now, I want to point this out because this, you segued me perfectly here, Medine. That's what I do. AJ you- Styles, unlike everybody else on the fucking roster, AJ Styles wins his matches in varied ways. Tonight it was the calf crusher submission. It's not always the phenomenal forearm. It's not always the 450 splash. It's not always the, the styles skulls. clash. Yeah, yeah. He he varies his match. Justin says A plus. AJ just carried the whole match and topping the UK match they had. And Teddy, ooh, this is a good what if. What if WWE had signed AJ five years ago? You trying to say like Cena wouldn't have had the run he had? I don't know. Punk I, wouldn't have had the run he had. AJ would have been up there in yeah. a brand split. He would have been showcased for sure. Yeah, would would. would would him he have more of something? Well, five years ago, and that's right. That's right towards the end of Punk's reign or Punk's career. Yeah, Berto. Well, you you can stop watching no, the no, WWE. No. Five? Yeah, about five. I mean, Punk's hey, been gone for the the fourteen. Fourteen. He left in fourteen. Okay. Well, here here's so four years. almost four years. So yeah, four years. I guess we're gonna lose Berto. Well, thirteen after was Mania. a big year for him. Even though it was his last year. Yeah. But, he he year. left at the beginning of fifteen. Yeah, he left between Royal Rumble. Rumble and he 14, left the, fourteen. He, Rumble yeah. is his last appearance. No, no he fourteen. He, he well, last appearance technically. He was backstage and walked out on the Raw on the next night. When yeah, he found out what he was being booked toward Mania right. with Kane. He walked out. <laughs> um, AJ versus this is this is Birdo. So we're gonna lose Birdo after Mania. No, because, it's Hunter. Um, Birdo says that he's gonna leave WWE after this because Nakamura and AJ. And Reigns and Lesnar are going to happen at Mania. And Reigns is going to get the main event again, so he's going to stop watching. Reigns is going to be the main event if he's fighting Brock Lesnar. We can dream all we want that AJ's going to close the show. It's not going to happen. No. If Brock is fighting Roman, uh, that's... And, and we predicted that on a spoiler, I think Medine said, months and months and months ago, that Brock was going to hold the title all the way to Mania and drop it to Roman. Yes, we did. And it's looking to be true. Especially since Roman's fucking dicking around with the IC belt right now. Dan and Dan and Dan and B plus for perfect 11. I can't give a match an A where one person completely carried the other person, but that was as good as it could have been. I disagree. I don't think AJ completely carried gender. I think gender in some moments. Yes. And AJ does make everyone look better, but gender was not shitty tonight. No, I think though it, something should be said that gender and Baron Corbin had, Best match of their career tonight. Sure. Yeah, absolutely. And it, a lot of credit's got to go to Dolph Ziggler, Bobby Roode, and AJ Styles on that front. A- absolutely. But you, it, a lot of credit, but not all of the credit. They, I agree. They, they, they did what they needed to do. They played their part. They, they did. Yeah. That's absolutely true. But, again, you got to give credit where credit's due, and it takes two to tango. And that was the difference in the matches tonight. Yeah. My overall pay-per-view, Gary, is uh, how we're going to close the show down. Because we're we're ready to get out of here. So if anyone else on the board wants to chime in with something relevant, good for you. We're going to go overall match grades, and then we're going to sign off and get the heck out of here. Let's go with you, Rob. What's your overall match grade? What's your takeaway? Well, I just want to remind everybody first that tomorrow night, Monday Night Raw, some following Monday Night Raw, um, both YouTube Live and Twitch on our, our little side channel, MOWP, until we can get our regular channel back. If you're listening for the first time, Please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Subscribe to our other one, Marked Out Wrestling Podcast, uh, which is currently uh, not allowed to stream live. But I digress. Tuesday night, we got SmackDown following uh, SmackDown Live on both uh, Twitter and Twitch and all that. Uh, and also, don't forget, every uh, if, you, if you can't do YouTube all the time or Twitch all the time, uh, you can hear us on Podbeam and iTunes. We'd love for you to, uh, to rate subscribe and review us on all those platforms and when there's no sunday paper you can catch us on satellite no you can, well no not satellite bubble rate bubble army radio.com oh and it's, it's just not satellite yeah smartdown is coming back on tuesday it's the final night of hanukkah uh guys quick teases coming up episode number 250 not doing anything special for 250 except for this we are going to draw our numbers for this year's royal rumble challenge 
It is our tattoo challenge where it, the number we draw, if you draw a number 28 and the entrant at number 28 is the winner, you have to get a tattoo of that person or their emblem or their logo, something that uh, the rest of the marked out universe will approve. Uh, Takedown will be coming back in 2018. Uh, Teddy's asking that on the board. Brian uh, is going through some rehab and stuff, and uh, we're going to devote some more time to it and maybe even try and get, I don't know where the hell he went. I suggested DJ Caution, Matthew Salvetti, joining him on the motherfucking takedown. Yeah. Uh, but I I definitely, 250, we're going to do our tattoo challenge, uh, drawing our numbers there. I had a tight butthole last year. I drew number 30, and Roman Reigns finished second. I was about to have to get a Roman Reigns tattoo somewhere on my body. Mm. That would have been awful. Berto says, uh, speaking of leaving you guys, I won't be live. I won't be live with you guys until the Raw after Mania. Last year, I watched the build from March to Mania, and I enjoyed it without outside voices. That's fair. I understand that. Well, I mean, we'll miss you, but I get that. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, just download our episodes. You don't have to listen to them. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you, yeah right. you can catch up after Mania when you want to hear you know, some educated opinions. Just stop, stop in, type in, hey, guys, I'm still alive. Yeah. Hit the uh, thumbs up on the video, and then go away. So the, the other thing I want to promote that's big is our two-year anniversary show is our Royal Rumble reaction show. Yeah. We are going to be having some fun. That is when it's technically, I think, episode 257, but that's our two-year anniversary for sure. That is when we're going to celebrate, guys. We hope you're going to join us then. Anything else to add, Medine? Anything you oh, want to plug? Well, you got anything to plug for my grade over August? Yeah. Um. Damn, you know, I got to go... Unfortunately, I, well, I want to say a B, but something's making pulling me towards the C. Yeah, something's pulling me towards the dark side, and I think it's just that the mid card matches started out, you know, later, the, Teddy. The, the first half of the pay per view started out so, so good, so good, done so well, uh, and in the second half, in perfect WWE Vince McMahon fashion, the second half, I just it disappointed. You're struggling because it was so inconsistent. It was, so I, I'm gonna go C. Yeah. Nadine? Uh, honestly, I got to go C- minus after the big grades in the beginning. It started off like a roller coaster. You got the first big loops. You're like, oh, that was so exciting. It was great. And then after the first two loops, the roller coaster phases, it fizzes out. And the rest Fizzle. of it, yeah, it, you just get coasted back in 60 seconds later. You're like, oh, that was it. Yeah, AJ. And that's the... AJ, okay, AJ kind of boosted it with a last little It was like bump last at the end. But the, it was kind of climatic because after all the shenanigans that the Singh brothers pulled throughout the entire feud, they ended up doing absolutely nothing at the end. Yeah, it took two spots. Yeah, and I mean, I like the end if it's forever for gender done with AJ. Okay. No, no more. Perfect 11 says B minus overall. I'm going to go on the C plus side. We had two A matches in the beginning, and I think, you know, in the A minus range, B plus range for AJ overall, the the middle, the middle was just fucking throw it away. I think that WWE really needs to look next year at how they take their time to build rivalries. This fly by night shit, I know you have to do to some degree because of injury, and I know that you have these overall plans of, you know, Brock just going to hold the title no matter what all the way to fucking WrestleMania. I get all of that, that you got to have that going in the background and sowing those long-term feuds and seeds and whatever. Okay, great. Plan out. I have six weeks from when pay-per-view A ends until my next pay-per-view B. What can I do to build my shit right? Because this, up until the final week, this pay-per-view had four matches on the card. And then you add four and just kind of throw it in there. Build your shit. Put it out right. Get people excited. Get people back involved in your product. Stop making all these budget cuts. Stop worrying about reviving the XFL. Stop doing all this other stuff. And focus on your fucking brand. If you want to micromanage it, Vince, bring it back to its glory. If not, get the fuck out of the way. I'm tired of this fake hype. The announcers would have so much credibility if they could back it up. 
The announcers have turned into Bray Wyatt. We don't believe anything that they're fucking saying. We don't like what they're saying. They're boring. Everything is boring. Kick a shot of adrenaline in everybody's ass. Start planning out these pay-per-views right. Start planning out these rivalries. Start showcasing shit. Start listening to some of the fucking fans. Give us what we want. Same smart time, same smart channel. I'll catch you on the flip side. Marked Out Podcast is recorded, edited, distributed, and marketed at U Record Studios in Charlotte, North Carolina. For more information on optimizing your podcast for increased listenership, check out U Record on Facebook, Twitter, and email sales at urecordstudios.com or visit the website www.urecordstudios.com. Yes! 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 You're listening to the Electronic Media Collective Podcast Network. Yeah, it's a mouthful. For more great shows, visit electronicmediacollective.com. Go away, fat man.